<clears throat> yeah. Sweet, go for it. It's up. As soon as you said oh. go for it, perfect diamond. Yeah, Episode so, um, part two. What do you guys want to do? Um, well, I was course. thinking we should, yeah, find some sort of bait because I don't want to be the guys who are getting. Uh, I think we can track it. Monster. This is uh, your time to shine, tracker friend. So you're actually going after it then, not pretending to go after it. Um, one thing. Uh, he said that if the monster was extra dangerous, we can get some more gold. So the, the monster is extra dangerous, right? Yeah, I mean, I thought we were we were going to get some bait as a cover, you know, and get and get the supplies to make it look like we were going to go and hunt the monster and then burn the pigeon place down. I thought we were just going to do this mission as well. <laughs> just do every mission on the mission. Yeah, board. I know. I was like, hey, do this. Hey, we, next. you know what we could do? We could lead this to the... We could get the bait and then bait it into the pigeon thing. Uh, oh, that, yeah. puts more, that, puts, that puts unnecessary risk on everybody else in the town. <laughs> Depends yeah, what kind does. of monster is as well. <laughs> but then we, we slay it after it's destroyed the pigeon guild and we have the heroes of the town and we get duly rewarded. Mm, no, I think that's a bad idea. I agree we should go to the, the store and buy some camping supplies and make it make people aware of the fact that we're heading out of town tonight. We uh, deal with the Pigeon Guild, and then we uh, come back into town in the morning and say that we couldn't find the monster in the woods. But we'll try yeah, again like today. Yeah. And then depending on the repercussions of the, the Sapphire Guild, we can either you know talk to them about it or we can actually hunt the monster. Yeah. So that so let's uh let's camp outside the um let's wait till dark and then head to the um pigeon place. The monster attacks us. <laughs> <laughs> While we're defending the pigeon place. Fuck. Sure. So you can um so you head to like a general store or something. So what what gear are you looking for? Uh, I don't need anything. Uh, I guess we're, we're looking for stuff that looks like we're hunting. Hunting traps. Yeah. Yeah, a hunting trap, um, some holy water, and... I have holy water. A silver stake. I also have a stake. So you go out there, and you Not go into the general store. Uh, do you ask the guy, or do you just look around for him? Look around, but if I can't see it, then I would ask him. Do you, you do don't find me Microphone jack. Sir? Did you do something to your microphone? I changed which microphone I'm using. Okay. Is it okay? I just had to turn you a lot down. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um. So, uh, oh fuck, who's Christopher? Hella spicy, Jesus. <laughs> oh, that's what he says. Well, uh, all I've all I've got is beer to to cool myself down. It ain't working. Well, we can get oh, you some water, fella, if you want some food. <laughs> you want something else? <laughs> Yeah, so, um, it says, uh, what, are you looking for hunting traps? What are you, what are you planning on hunting there, friend? Uh, yeah, there was the, uh, note on the notice board, uh, that the, there's a monster terrorising the Kilfe forest. You, uh, close to town. you're going into the Kilfe fo forest? Yeah. Uh, you got permission for that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay, fair enough. Um, I mean, <laughs> if you say so, uh, the Lord isn't generally known to to give out permission. But it's I mean, a good thing I the mean, Lord's got you checking to make sure everyone's got permission, huh? <laughs> Surely hey. pays you well for that. It ain't my hide that gets caught if it gets uh, caught by her. Well, whatever. Um, uh, I mean, I don't sell hunting traps just because. As a general rule, no one will buy them because there's nothing ready to hunt outside of the forest and no one ever goes there. So, uh, sorry. I don't have hunting stuff. I don't have hunting traps, sorry. What is this shop? What's that? What, what does this shop actually sell? Um, you know, like, it's a general goods store, so, oh, okay. like, you got rope, you got, uh, just rope. It's <laughs> a rope emporium. <laughs> Get your rope here! Why'd you come in here? It's a rope store! 
It's like a waving um, ro- ropes outside, like the wacky inflatable tube guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll uh, I'll just buy a couple of like some rations, uh, <coughs> fill up my tinder box, etc. Replace my water skin, that kind of stuff. Like a gold's worth of general stuff. Go for it. Cool. Yeah, that's it. We we'll, we'll talk to him about how we're um how we're going to go and uh and hunt the monster. We've got the request. We need him as a uh, an alibi, don't we? So we're using all this yep. to go hunting into the woods. Monster hunting especially. Have you heard anything about this creature in the woods that's playing the, the forest? Uh I had no idea there's a creature in the woods. Yeah. What what kind of creature is it? So we're looking to um, find out. Mm. Oh, I see. The the I get it. Right. The I uh, I see. I see what's going on here. Cool. Not a problem. If there's anything you need, you guys need help with, just uh, let me know. Unfortunately, no hunting traps, as I said. But uh, if you anything else, um, I'll be sure to help. I uh, turn to the other guys. Well, if we can't get any hunting traps here, Amronel. I mean, Am- Amronel might have some. He did put the note on the board after all, so. He might have some hunting traps he can spare. Homemade. Better, probably. Thank you for your time anyway, though. Um, uh, and thank you for the rations. And thank no you. problem. Um, I guess we go back to the end and wait till nightfall. Yeah, we don't actually want to head back to things, do we? Are we going to go lurk in the forest or are we going to lurk in the forest and sneak back into the town? I thought we were just gonna. I thought we were just sneaking back into the town. I'm not actually hunting the wolf, are we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. But I'm not saying we should. I'm saying we shouldn't go back to then because it'd be like, what are you doing? You're tracking the monster during the night. Oh Is yeah, yeah. Suicidal? I'm with him. Yeah. Um. I can't see in the dark. Out, Can you all see in the dark? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I have dark vision. The entire party has dark vision, I believe. Shit! I'm waiting for the Umbrute Stalker. <laughs> so um. Yeah, you uh, you leave town. You start walking. Um, there's a little. Is, you can see the you can see the edge of the Kilfay Forest from town, um, but it's not. Uh, it's going to take like an hour or so to actually get to the edge of the forest. It's um, okay, I guess. Yeah. So, I mean, do you want to go all the way to the forest? If it's open territory in between. Unless there's somewhere we can set up and hide. Before we reach the Kofi Forest, um, it's pretty open. Um, it's it's mainly fields um, between here and Kofi. Um, to be honest, is there like a hedgerow or something we could hide behind that's closer? Um, there's like there's a couple of like fields that have been set apart for like animal farming. Um, so yeah, there could be like a hedgerow on the edge of a like a sheep field or something. I guess we hide behind there, so we're a bit closer to town. Yeah, it's like 20 minutes out or something. Well, I guess we wait here till nightfall then. I'm going to catch some sleep now before... Uh, so we're uh, ready for the evening. Cool. Anything you guys want to talk about while you're waiting or just want to skip ahead? Um, I want to talk to... No, not specifically, just um, a bond... With um, the other bounty hunter about just jobs. Who's asleep? The <laughs> sleeping pony. Oh, no. <laughs> By the way, there is one other thing, um, Kildris. You have <laughs> your... sleeping. Yeah. You have that. You get a magic item, don't you? For your my clockwork doodad. Yeah. You you get a magic item for your what is it? Um, I don't know, wondrous invention. Uh, oh, so... I have the clockwork bird. Do I need the other? What no, you no. You um, a second level, you get a magic item. So you get either oh, a bag of holding, okay. a cap of water breathing, oh, yeah. drift globe goggles with vital sending stones. So you've got to pick which one you want. What was a drift globe again? It's like a it's like a floating lantern that follows you. Goggles mm. of night would be really good, buddy. For me, uh, uh, it would be really great. We'd all have dark vision. How different to that is dark vision? We all have dark vision. So I do not have dark vision. vision. Only me does not. Yeah, no, but... He wouldn't have made them on the off chance that he meets a halfling that can't see. Well, who knows? The Lord has blessed us. He so made them to sell them. Would, yeah, he make, so... would, he make, would he make sending stones if he was a venture? No, no, let's go with cap of water breathing. 
Sure. That okay. seems to make the most sense. Yeah, I mean, it's not going to help me now, but I should have... I, if I'm a lone bounty hunter, I'm not going to make anything that I don't have Sorry. the ability for myself. The inflection that I gave on that yes was not, like, <laughs> idiot. Like, <laughs> <laughs> You can take whatever I am you want. War oh, breathing. <laughs> As if we're gonna be near war. <laughs> prepare, to, prepare to be on a landlocked campaign, bro. <laughs> Did I mention this earth is 70% land? Yeah. <laughs> I will still take the cap of water breathing. Okay, but <laughs> goggles are not, not, not so hard to get. That's my new goal in life. <laughs> because otherwise I've got two sending stones that I'm walkie talking myself <laughs> <laughs> it's nice not being alone, right? And then you listen to yourself say that. <laughs> yeah. I guess the other one you could have is a bag of bag of holding as oh, well. Oh, that's good. That was good. Bag of holding, just full. Um, but okay, so yeah, you guys start waiting. I mean, do you, um, Matthias? Do you do you are you willing to converse with with Kildris, or are you just like nah? Fuck. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, if he strikes a conversation, then then yeah, I'll talk back. Um, there's, yeah, there was nothing specifically I wanted. Like as 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 a player, there's nothing I wanted to learn. It was just like, oh, I did this one job one time. It was really cool. Did you ever do anything like that? Except yeah, so. I'll uh, I'll share with him um, a couple of the stories bonding um, that I've got that I've uh, a couple of contracts I've done and uh, perhaps about the time that I was actually in the army and what my unit did that kind of thing. Duranel is um is is sat next to you guys listening like in stomach with like uh, his head in his hand and like his his. His feet like kicking back, like, oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're talking about all these like crazy war stories or, or bounty hunter stories, and he's like, yeah, his I eyes are comically la wide, and he's like, wow, tell me more. <laughs> it's like I stole like forty gold once, like. <laughs> While they're talking, I'm gonna like lay out everything. Well, some way still of light, like lay out everything that's in my pack, and like slowly count it all and go through it, and just make sure nothing's nothing else has been stolen. Oh yeah, as Probably you guys have been walking around, um, stuff, as you guys have been walking around, Roscoe has been riding around on a panther. No, 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 no. Why well, we no. we cancelled that? I went and got that. No, did you? Yeah, because we did. Alex said he wanted to do something else, so we ended up going to the. We never went to the. I, I never had. Remember, we in the part where we said we stay in the inn until nightfall. I said, "Okay, I'll go out," but then we never stayed in the inn until nightfall, so I haven't gone. Okay, yeah, we went and got ourselves an alibi instead. Also, oh, okay. don't leak my creature before I do a cool description hey, of it. Re I it. Yeah, we can see each other's characters. I can see. Oh, it can you? Oh, it's gonna be a cool description. I was gonna be like, it's a dark. Exotic creature. <laughs> it's a cat. It's a, <laughs> it's a, it's a tabby Some cat. Sort of panther style creature. <laughs> if we were good yeah, in the um, forest, I would have got it, but no. <laughs> for, for this one, I gave you all access to each other's. You can't edit them, obviously, but you can look at them. Just, just as an experiment. Stat, to see how it all goes, your but... stats are one. LOL. <laughs> <laughs> you struggle to breathe in normal atmosphere? Wow. <laughs> well, look at this nerd. He's got a cap of water breathing one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you... imagining it's like one of those little like, skull caps, skull caps yeah. with a little propeller on the top. Oh. <laughs> look, for, look through my backstory, guys. You know, start reading them. Maybe you'll be done before midnight. <laughs> um, Why did you write out all your class stuff? Just says all in one. Uh, it was on, I just copy. It was all from a word document that has everything about my character. So. It's not even right because it's got the little <laughs> stalker, and I changed away from that. Okay, regretting okay. that now. Uh, as soon as yeah, as soon as I realise everyone is dark vision, I sure am. Okay, so um, you guys wait until night. I genuinely uh, thought I Alex is gonna play human. What's the fucking point of being dark vision? I'm never having an <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> um, yeah. So you guys, um, it takes quite a while for it to get summer. It's like June or something. So um, it's not until like nine o'clock, whatever, that it gets dark. Um, but night does eventually fall. Um, so where do you guys want to head? So I think we should creep. Um, we didn't see any locks on the, the main door when we left the place, but he does live there. So I imagine there'll be I like a back entrance. He was being quite privy of. We should like scout the entire 
outside the building and see if there's an easy way in. Was the pension scout like in the middle of the town or the edge of the town? Uh, yeah, it's fairly central in the town. Throughout Generally, this... when when a town gets like to the point, even even small villages have a pigeons guild. Like it, it's 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 kind of straight. They they like they build these buildings like anywhere they can, like okay. anywhere they think that. Get in early. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, and it's always it's almost always when these small buildings are the biggest and most impressive um, place in the town. Okay, we're gonna have to scout for the same. Well, I guess there's a curfew here, like in any village. Yeah, there's there's not many guards in this in this town. Like, I mean, you guys would know, like having been brought up in this sort of era, that guards are light. Like, this is this town has got like two thousand people living in it, right? Uh, and there's probably like ten, ten to fifteen guards, probably. Like, wow, it's not a lot. Probably like five on night shift. <laughs> yeah, Eventually. which means yeah, I was gonna say yeah, it means it's gonna take like a tenth of the population to overthrow all of the guards in a three to one fight. <laughs> I said like the, these guards are like they don't really give a shit. They're more like they will shake people down and they will like take bribes and it's not like it's a job. they they don't become guards to like protect people as a general rule. <laughs> they, be, they become guards because oh you're given armor and a sword and. You know, you can love people, swords. basically. Yeah. My dad was a guard. I'm a guard, and we took braves as far back as my. <laughs> far back as my lineage can go. Yeah. Um, okay, so is it is it well lit this place? Does it have like lights on, or is it dark out completely? Or. Hmm. I believe that the town. So I believe there would be. Uh... Some like, oil lanterns, some uh, torches out, or. No, I think if you're in a city, there'd be like. Some kind of lamp lighter sort of system, but here, no, I don't think so. So it's all dark. Okay. So I think we should sneak around to the back of the building. The only you're gonna get is from is from like candles from people's houses and the windows. I think we should let our thief here help us get in through one of the doors, and we'll go from there. You told us at that time you once stole was it forty gold off one guy? That yeah, was a cool story. 41. I like that story. <laughs> I like that story. That was a good story. Why don't you help us get into this place just like you did with the forty-one gold guy? Oh, can do. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I mean, you guys, give, give me a give me a stealth roll then. For, but I, I guess it's a, uh, how do party stealth rolls work? You know, my brain's gone blank. Uh, is it just take the effort? No, it's not. Is Ross? Do you remember? Uh, it depends. This is options. Um, and I think it's like. You do, it depends. You can it definitely. I think it's the lowest. I'm pretty sure, but I okay, could be wrong well, because well, obviously that's stealth. how it works. Everyone take a stealth check. Pow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Move, bitch! Get out the way! Ba, ba, ba. So that's already including disadvantage. Yeah, good. Okay. Yeah, that's. Matthew's so, here. Disadvantage. <laughs> you skill mail on too. Uh, yeah, I'm wearing heavy armor. I'm wearing chainmail. So the 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 road. Next seven. <laughs> Matthews takes out an air horn. <laughs> Duranel is like the fucking master. As soon as you like suggest this proper serious mode, and he's like pure silent, like from shadow to shadow. Um, the rest of you guys. I imagine like um, I imagine like Kronk from uh, Emperor's New Game. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's definitely Matthews. Um. I mean, the rest of you guys managed to to pretty much follow um, Dam Duranel's, uh steps fairly well, um, but uh, as soon as as soon as Matthews gives it a go, it, it is literally. This is what I think spells should look like. He's like, uh, what is it like commando crawling across the floor or something, and he's like <laughs> in the middle of the road, like <laughs> or something like that. I don't know. Um, but you're not being especially stealthily uh, stealthy, so. Like, um, maybe someone, uh, looks out their window at the, like, you, you may, you, know, you like, knock something over, and then someone's, like, opens their window of the house and, like, shut the hell up, people are trying to sleep, you know, like, that sort of thing. Um, but, uh, you do eventually reach the Pigeon Guild. Uh, where do you want to go, like, around the front, or around the back, or? No, around the back, because he was a little bit precious about the back, so, yeah. So you head around to the back of the building, uh, and there's no back door. 
Is there any any way in through the back, or is it just completely shut off? No, there's only one entrance to this building it appears, and it's in the front. Okay. Can I'll bear on the roof. Um, there is a second story. Because that's where the pigeons leave, right? If they leave, yeah, like... exactly. Um, if you climb the building, uh, then the then you will be able to get in through the top because there's pigeons up there. Obviously, the hazard is going to be there's pigeons up there. Known for their aggression. Yeah. Um, Damarel says, yeah, I, I can climb that. He's a thief, so you got the, the second story work thing. Um, perk, so he climb ability, yeah. Yeah, so he's like, I can, I can get up there. I can pick the lock, what would you prefer? Uh, let's try... I think you should just go at the top. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to... If anyone looks out their window and sees us walking inside. And I'm sure this human guy isn't going to be quiet. Okay. So, let's have a look here. Um... What's the bell made of? Stone, right? Uh, the bottom of the stone, yes. Um, let me make sure I know what this... Uh... Rogue. We need to make sure that no pigeons are sent off either. If the pigeon go to here by this, we're going to have assassins trailing us for the rest of our lives. Okay, so, um, yeah, Duranel climbs up the building. This is going to be awkward because I'm going to be playing myself essentially here. I'm fine, Jack. <laughs> what is that noise? Oh, it's, uh, it's, he's, he's going into his car. Yeah, this is me going uh, driving home now. <laughs> right, okay, so. <laughs> I'm turning you down. I'll mute him until he gets in his car. <laughs> there you go. Okay. So, um. Make sure you know when he's unmuted, when to unmute him as well. Yeah, well, he can tape, right? Can he tape? He himself. Oh, did he muted himself. No, did he? Muted himself, no, did he? I muted him. I don't know if you muted himself. No, he has. No, he did not. He did not. Okay. Cool. Right, so, um, uh, yeah, so you, he climbs up the building very deftly, uh, and he enters through the top uh, of the building. I've got to make some rolls here. G, M, R. Just a G, R, buddy. Ah, uh, you get point. Uh, or oh, I can just go to the character sheet and, uh, so you have to bear with me. I'm like switch I'm, over to. I'm on. I'm on my. Oh, I am on my fifth beer here, so I'm gonna have to. I'm, f I'm feeling it now. Um, it's a sheet output. It's on the left on the settings. If you want to make it GM. Character. Character. Up the top. Um, character spells settings. Uh, and then sheet. Ah, uh, output. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. GM. Cool. Um. Yeah. So he's gonna make a still throw. Okay, so you sat there and he's like gone for a good while, um, and uh, uh, you're looking at like ten minutes, fifteen minutes, um, and uh, you hear some noises coming from the front door. I'm waiting for it at this point. Like, where, um, where are you guys waiting for him? In, uh, like, a side alleyway. Yeah, outside okay. more than anything else. Okay. So you are wait, essentially waiting for, like, a signal, probably, like, for him to open the door, right? I didn't expect so, him to go in. I thought he'd just go and come back down. Okay. So, is that what you asked him to do? No. That's what he, I no, did. no, so he's, he's just gone, hasn't he? He's just his his assumption was he wanted to open the door for the inside, basically. Yeah. So you guys yeah, hear... Um, a sound from the, the other side of the front door. Like, of someone trying to open it. But it doesn't open. <laughs> Good stuff. Um, so, you kind of wait. I think it goes on for a little, a little bit longer. Like another 10 to 15 minutes. You start getting worried. Um, if I seem struggling after about a minute, I go around and I want to assist them. Because I'm you don't, these tools as well. You don't hear the front door going. Um, after after the, you hear the front door like go for the first time, you don't um, hear, you don't hear anything else. And it's been twenty five minutes since he went in. Yeah. Uh, and do you do anything before <clears throat> that point, or do you do you just keep waiting? When he 
when he starts uh, doing the door handle from one side and we can hear it potentially starting to open, I want to, because uh, I'm assuming we're at the door at that point, because otherwise we wouldn't hear it going from the side out of the way. So do we like see the door handle move in or? Um, it's, it's the sound of him picking the lock from the other side and presumably failing. Packing that lock from the other oh. side? Yeah. Yeah, if it's got a key in it. I guess if it's a key lock, yeah. Um, so what, do you guys want to wait? To, do you guys, like, tell me if in that 25 minutes you guys want to do anything. Yeah, I want to try well, if, the front well, lock. The I was going to say, we wouldn't, if, if he... He's trying to pick lock the door. We're waiting in a side anyway. We wouldn't even know that's what he's trying to do. So after ten, we're not next to the door. If that makes sense, we wouldn't hear it or see it if we're that far away. If that makes sense. If it's ten minutes so though, we... I would I would go and try and pick the lock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So give me give me a slight handle minutes, then to try and pick the lock. Yeah, you can't get it either. Um, it's a it's a it's a strong lock on this building. It's a very well made lock. Let me see those tools. <laughs> so, what do you guys do? I would like to attempt with his. Can I use his thieves tools? Nope. What? <laughs> I don't even see sleight of hand on here. It's a thieves tools check. I've added it just because I'm proficient in thieves tools. Guys, it's been a it's been a little while now. Now, he hasn't come to the front door. Let us in. Should we How be concerned about him? Should we try and you know get in there? Yeah, so I'm saying, tr go, give me a yeah, thing so and I'll give it a shot. How long are you guys looking to wait? A lockpick. Well, I'm happy to go in after well, after Matthias fails. I'm happy say, to. After like ten minutes. minutes. Yeah. Okay. After Matthias fails, I wanna ask him for the lockpick. Matthias, let me see. It's fine. I've got this. I'll try again. Sure. I mean. The <laughs> So at this point, um, you notice that there's something broken on the other side. Presumably, um, Duranel has botched the lock. <laughs> Alright, he's done it. <laughs> oh, fuck this, and I put my shoulder through it. <laughs> Give me a strength roll. Or if I, you found, actually, I use my battle axe and just aim, aim for the door. Oh my the god, door. I like look around us in the street. I guess the tavern is like across from us or something. <laughs> Uh, no, it's a little bit way, a little way down. Okay. Right. Go for it, man. Make, there, a, make an attack roll against the <laughs> door. <laughs> okay, sure. Bash the door down with a single hit. Was it, was it a good roll? Because I can't see it. That's right. <laughs> Call that good if you want. Oh, motherfucker! So you smash the door, and then when you do that, you hear like a commotion going on upstairs. Um, you're like, what the? Heck? And uh, you start to hear like. Like hurried footsteps. Um, I I bolt in as soon as he does this and rush for the yeah, upstairs. Gonna, as we go through the front door, I'm gonna take my uh, weapon off my back. It'll be the first time that these guys have seen it because it comes under like the pouch that it's in. So it's like a big reveal moment of like it coming out and being like this thing you know, that you guys are seeing. Because I imagine yeah. it'll be something you guys haven't seen like in the flesh ever or like up mm -hmm. close and personal. So, you guys get through the front door, you sort of move the remains of the... And then, as you come through, uh, you see Duranel, like, burst the door the, the, back, the door to the back open. And door he's like... To the back? Question mark? Yeah. There was a door behind uh, the counter. Yeah, yeah. Not, no. not, the, not outside. No, I was like, saying, not yeah, yeah, building like, in the house. So he, yeah, yeah. he busts that door open, and he's like, Guys, good news, I got the key for the front door. And then <laughs> he, he holds up the key, and he looks at these guys, he's like, Hmm... Bad news, uh, um, guy, he's awake. Um, thanks for that, by the way. Um, <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll stop him saying pigeons! If he says uh, his okay. out, we're we fucked. At this point, the pigeon guild guy comes downstairs. He's he's wearing like a like a nightgown, uh, and, and like <laughs> a little, little one of those nightcaps. And a one candle, yeah, and a nightcap, and he's got like a, a pigeon feather in the nightcap as well. Um, <laughs> so he runs down, he's like, what's, what's, what's going on here? What are you doing? Uh, this isn't the rookery? Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this is the rookery. So what, what are you doing? Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess I guess we roll for initiative at this point. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this took a bad turn. Um, from my knowledge in the army, have I ever met, met dwarven units with firearms? 
that I know what they sound like? Um, no, they're generally a private thing. Like they're not, they're not mass producible enough that um, anyone can have one. It's like if you have one, it's like a very rich family, or um, cool. or you've made sorry. it yourself. Yeah, so it, you probably wouldn't have seen one as an as an army guy. It's not cool. standard military equipment for any dwarf. Right. Okay. So I'll move you onto the um, the whiteboard just so you can roll initiative. Uh, just click your, your whichever your character is, and then. Uh... Tom, I'll have to do that for uh, characters. Yeah, you have to do that for reasons. Right? Someone needs to roll my initiative for me. Yeah, no problem. I can do that. Um... <laughs> and then tell me what everyone else rolled. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, we're waiting for you. Can't like that character. I, I that. can't select any of the tokens. <laughs> no, select any of them. There you go. Oh, I, just just, me I, just, I just dragged it in from your uh, character sheet. Can you drag no. your own one onto the board? It doesn't even work when I try and roll an ice chip. It says, no character was found for selected. Oh, I changed my character pro picture. Oh, okay. Um, doesn't matter. These are all right. tokens, right? Um... Sure, just just roll the just roll the d20. It's fine. I just 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 roll it. Have it. Just, it's not going to take long. This fight. It's not. A... <laughs> There's nothing intense. You're fighting. It's just us. It's just us bludgeoning this old man to death. <laughs> so that's for Duranel. <laughs> that and that's for killed us. <laughs> And that's for the man so, that I'm uh, controlling. Now playing three characters. <laughs> yeah, so uh, Duranel got 14 and the Pigeon Girl guy got. So. What did I get? Oh, I've not rolled you. Um, <laughs> sec, uh, you go first and you me. shoot the gun. <laughs> oh shit, a person! Bang! <laughs> 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 uh, what is it? In a shit. You got a 15. Same as me. So, yeah, so Roscoe and uh, Kildish, you go at the same time. I go first, that's how it works, and I should have ties. E. Okay, sure. Let's say whoever's got the largest bonus usually is how it yeah, works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I run through um, Holdrum. Right, what's his name? It's not Holdrum. Um, Hel Helmund. I run through Helmund using my yeah. uh, halfling nimbleness. Go through his legs, yep. To, to squeeze him through his legs, and then I kick him down the stairs with a shove action. <laughs> down the stairs? Yeah, like into the, into the... He's on the stairs, right? He, you know, he's run down the stairs, and he's... he's the, you, all four of you are in the sort of front... Um, the front lobby. of the, the Pigeon Guild. Yeah, the lobby, uh -huh. right? I thought he was, like, on the stairs, like, halfway down. No, he's, he's followed... Oh. Um, uh, yeah, Damrenel like came through the door and then jumped over as he was talking to you guys, and then he's come out like and he's like in the doorway. Oh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll move through to the other side of him. I'll, I'll roll under his legs and then I'll whack him in the back with my short sword, the back of the head. Can't really Go get the it. back of his head. Um, I am doing non-lethal damage, is what I'm saying. Um, okay. I'm gonna strike with my short sword. Uh, for some reason. I did it as an inventory, and I thought that would do both, but I didn't, but that's okay, because you can just pull these stuff in. Uh, I'm wielding two blades, so it's two attacks. Mm-hmm. The first one. Let's yeah, you knock him out. <laughs> just bash him in the back of the head, and then, like, in the same movement... How do you... How do you knock him in the back of the head? <laughs> I'm... I'm I, really it's, um... I, I like... I like... I, I, don't, I don't know what's in this next room, but it's like if there's a table or something, I just like roll under his legs, I jump off the table behind him and like whack him in the back of the head, <laughs> land on the ground and keep running up the stairs, all in the one movement. I'm going to the pigeon's I'm, place. I'm imagining you run up, jump off the table, like sort of grab him around the neck and do like a power ball. Move <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure, sure. But like I said, immediately afterwards, I'm going upstairs to make sure there's no pigeons. And if there is, I'm going to attempt to shoot them out of the sky, though I can't see in the dark, so that's not going to work. Okay, so you go up the stairs, um, there's up the stairs, there's like a bedroom, and there's another set of stairs. All the way up, I'm just making sure he doesn't have like a syrup you another set of stairs, and then there's like a big, there's a huge room with like loads and loads of pigeon cages. Okay, there's no one in this room currently sending an assassinate layer, they'll make us die all the time. <laughs> no, no okay. there's not. He breathes a sigh early <laughs> and heads back downstairs. After checking the other bedroom to make sure no one's asleep in there. Yeah, there's no one in the bedroom. 
All Are right. we out of initiative order now? He's... Yeah, I mean, you, you took him out straight away. <laughs> Smooth. Um, we're like, we're a group of professionals. Um, right, we need to find the I'm going to uh, turn... I'm going to turn and look outside the door in both directions to see if anyone heard any of what just happened. See if there's like commotion um, of people coming after us. It's probably only about 10 o'clock at night. So, um, anyone who... We won't wait like... until midnight. Oh, you just say wait until midnight, yes. Most people are going to be asleep. Um, it's unlikely anyone heard you because these buildings aren't like... Um, they aren't like uh, semi-detached. Yeah, so, like so I'm looking for like lights visual. that are suddenly turning on in windows or like people peeking out of doorways, stuff like that. Guards if walking down the street. You're probably yeah, fine. Exactly. Okay, I'll uh, I'll turn around, come back inside, and uh, holster my my weapon back into my pack. Um, we need to find. Uh, I say to the 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 elf. Uh, we need to find that lamp oil. So, and it's money. Oh, yeah. In this back room, there's like a it's like a living space. So there's like a small kitchen, a table, and then there's um, another door in the back, which is weird because this build this this door should lead out the back, but you didn't see a door out there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to walk over to the door and try the handle. Um, so the door is like, it, it's it's strangely ornate, right? There's like all kinds of like, it's like gold um, uh, ornamentation all around the door frame of like pigeons, like just about to like start flying. You know, if you know, do you understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. So about to take flight. Yeah, exactly. They're all like taking off, um, and you try and open the door, and it just doesn't move. It's not like it's locked. It it doesn't move at all. Like it's a like it's a painting of a door on a wall, basically. It's just literally like immobile. Kind of, yeah. Can I make an arcana check? To see awesome. if I, uh, yeah, yeah any magical vibe. Sure. Nope. <laughs> I just want to remind um, remind you, uh, uh, Kildris, you do have to take magic as a ritual. Yeah. My, my yeah. head at the moment, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to make find, find the gold and the lamp oil. So my head isn't yeah. I'm thinking sure. of like, no what's magic through the door. I'm trying, I, I'm thinking there might be oil or gold back here. This might be like his depository. So I'm going to see what else I can see in the room. Um, as, as I kind of brush off the fact that there's a door yeah. that I can't open. You know that stone building isn't going to burn, just, just like it's not going to be destroyed. It'll burn everything inside it. And the, the, the actual floors will be made of wood. The old, that is correct. The exterior will oh, be. Oh, okay. And it'll kill all the pigeons. Yeah, the pigeons is the most important <laughs> part, yeah. <laughs> pigeons are flammable, I believe. Uh, well, <laughs> presumably the pigeons are the most valuable part of this place. Operation. Um, yes. So, um... Yeah, I mean, this guy clearly lives very wealthily, despite it being like a, a two-room place, right? It's... He's got a lot of very fine food. He's got nice wine. He's got, you know, he's got the good stuff, right? He's got silverware. Um, whatever the the pigeon guild do, I mean, whatever. Wh if, if nothing else, they they pay their members very well, or I, at least uh, pay a lot of expenses. I scoop the silverware into my backpack and uh, put a bottle of wine in there as well. Sure. There's like um, like three or four pairs of um, knives, and, and there's a candlestick as well. As well as like three plates. Yeah. Uh, I want to look under the desk to see if there's. A, I'm looking for like a, a a box, like a like a kitty box of like his like day to day takings. Like, um, cash register. Yeah, sure. Uh, there's yeah, there's there's like um. There there is a space underneath the main uh like counter for stuff like that, but there's nothing in there right now. Yeah. So he's probably yeah, hit okay. it somewhere else. I'll go back up to this yeah. room and scan that through. Yeah, uh, you find a big footlocker in his, uh, and there's also like at the foot of his bed, mm -hmm. there's a wardrobe, um, like a mirror, and, a, and like a dresser, um, and then uh, I guess there'd be a safe above somewhere. Yeah, just, just as a, a standalone safe, it's not like built into a wall or anything. I shout whisper for the elf to come up with the key. <laughs> So he comes up, he, pops, he sort of like pops his head up the stairs, like, oh my god, safe. 
uh, and he, he goes over to it. Um, the key is clearly for the for the the front door rather than this it for this safe. Well, but the foot locker, there's no it's not got a key. Uh, the foot locker is unlocked. Oh, okay. I'll know then, well, he's on the safe. Sure. Um, so the foot locker uh, is going to be be in this foot locker. Uh, it's mainly personal belongings in the in the foot locker. Um, so like, um, like family mementos. Uh, so like uh, letters from home. Um, there's a small like chest in there um, as well. Uh, it's pretty heavy and it clinks. So you presume there's like personal money in there. Um, is it got a lock on it, or can I just open it? Uh, it is locked. Um, and then there, it's got a small padlock on it. Um, Do, does and then there's door key fit? No. No, door key way too small. Okay. Uh, and then it's mostly just personal uh, in that foot, other than that chest. Okay. I use my axe to help him open that small padlock. Sure, give me a, give me a, uh, I think it's an attack roll, I guess it would be. Did you come upstairs with the elf then? Yeah, as soon as you said safe. Um, I didn't say so safe, I said hey, you, you go to You go to swing the battle axe at the, the lock and you just kind of miss and just hit the, the chest itself and just like smash it in half. You, you cut both hands off the dark elf. <laughs> <laughs> he just he tries to pick the lock. Uh, and yeah, and a load of a load of gold and silver just spills out of it. What is um? What is Ross doing at this time? What's your character doing? Bro? That was that was me who was uh, I was searching the chest and got the the foot lock out. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize what three you'd gone upstairs. Yeah, no, I didn't realize that. After no. your pigeon escapade. Yeah, I'd, I'd gone upstairs and then shouted for uh, the <laughs> Sylvan Elf to come upstairs. That's what happened. Meanwhile, Duranel is um, picks tries to pick the lock on the uh, on the safe, uh, and he successfully does so. Um, he he opens. I should probably change this off GM. He rolled a twenty uh, total. So uh, yeah, he he pops open the lock and he's like, "Ha! I have done it." Don't worry, you can thank me later. And he opens the door, and there's like another, there's like uh, bags of, of in there, there's mm -hmm. like uh, bags of gold in there. Get all. We have to get out of here before anyone realizes. Yeah. Uh, and then once I've cracked the box, I don't even worry about what's in it. I trust the other two to pick the stuff up. Um, I I move into the, any of the other rooms and try and find this oil or something to set a fire with. Uh, Duran, I was like, this is my kind of pot. I'm, I'm a. And he's like, he's like got his big bag, two bags of money in his hands. Like... After, uh, after I realise there's no box downstairs full of money, I want to start looking around for uh, lamp oil uh, to help. Sure. The um, there is a, there is a, uh, like a lamp hanging from the ceiling in the, uh, in in the sort of back room. There's one in the bedroom and there's one in the. Uh, uh, sort of living space. Yeah. Take it down and start splashing the oil everywhere. I'm gonna, sure. after collecting the gold and silver up, I go back downstairs to search his body. Um, you find, um, I like a, a ring of keys. Uh, and, like, it's like around his neck, there's like three keys on a, on a thing around his neck. Uh, and that's it, because he's in a, He's in a, he's in a, yeah. uh, what is it, a pajamas dressing gown or whatever, yeah, like, so. Um, yeah, I splash the oil around, I, I take it up specifically, so presumably underneath the, the, the pigeons there's going to be a lot of straw, so it's easier to clean out when they shit everywhere. Oh yeah, like there's, there's tons of like straw It's a fucking tinder box. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. The <laughs> is basically a bonfire waiting to happen. I splash a bit of oil around, um... So, while this is happening, um, while you're searching the, um, uh, while, while you're searching the guy, uh, he starts oh, to like... He sort of starts to come to, and he's like, "Ah, oh, what's going on? What, what's happening?" Uh, I smash his head. Wow, I D four hours, motherfucker, and I smash your head to the head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just knock him out again. Fair enough. You smash the shit out of him. Um, sure. oh, really, no. I expect them to wake up like a few minutes after <laughs> after the day. Yeah. 
stand next to him and just keep punching in the back of the skull. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Stay <laughs> unconscious. Relentless assault. You're weak when I lay you, know. <laughs> so I splash the oil around upstairs and it's ready for a fire to be lit. I uh, I then go back downstairs and I want to take his body upstairs and put him in bed. Yeah. Um, and then put a pillow over his face. Sure. Suffocate him. I mean, he's unconscious. I don't know how this works. I've never tried to kill a man before. If they're if uh, they're unconscious because of uh, physical injury, then it will wake them up, as opposed to being asleep where they would obviously. Yeah. I mean, the only time I put a pillow over someone's face is like. Kinky stuff. No, no, never mind. Let's let's just skip that. Let's just skip that. Um, yeah, I basically um, want to suffocate him. So if somebody examines him, the cause of death will look like suffocation, and after a fire, that will be through smoke inhalation. I think if anyone gets to examine him, we've done a terrible job of burning this ten <laughs> I think if there is anything to examine, we've done a terrible job. Guys, here. guys, we totally forgot the fire brigade left next door. We're friends. <laughs> okay, rather than that, then. No, I, I think suffocating is fine, though. I think it's a good. I do strategy. suffocate him anyway, so he doesn't suffer. Uh, yeah. but I was gonna say it doesn't make I, sense. I was gonna go with Gen just pinch his nose and put your hand over his mouth. Just like yeah, I mean, well, genuine, whatever. genuine question. Um, I, I don't know if someone, if someone's unconscious and suffocate, they react. I don't know if they no, if, no, no, if, if it's physical injury. injury. But if, I if it's I like over you know, strengthen. If, over if he was like asleep, he'd wake up, right? But he's not. He's like his brain is broken. That's why. Well, he's when I when I try to suffocate you when you're asleep, like you don't. <laughs> so sadly, huh? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> problem is, it's these damn like morals. I always feel bad. While I'm uh, while I'm spreading oil downstairs, the curiosity about the, the <laughs> doors got the better of me. Okay, I'm going so... over there. And I want to I want to do detect magic on it. I want to learn more about the door. Okay, it, uh, it takes ten minutes to do the ritual. So. Oh, okay. So first of all, I'm just looking. Not not a magic check. First of all, I'm just looking to see if I know anything about the door. If I'm learn if I can learn anything about it without necessarily doing detect magic. Sure. I mean, it's. It's, uh, give me a, uh, investigation roll. We already do dark okay. county, so get to roll I will need you to do that for me. Ah, oh, right, yeah, so, <laughs> Give uh, me the roll and I will roll it. Uh, kill this character sheet. Oof. Um, uh, oh, you're a proficient in investigation. Shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you're on that 20. Um, um so, oh. this door, um, is uh it's made of a different wood than the surround obviously it's made of wood but it's made of and the rest of the building is stone uh but it's made of a different wood from like the floors made of it's and okay. it's a, a very fine construction um and it's it's definitely a door right there's some it's, it's definitely something behind it but it's not okay. it doesn't lead outside because you know it you see you've seen the outside there's no door out there yeah um but there's definitely something behind here, and it's yeah. probably some kind of magical construction, considering how uh, the fact that all this ornamentation has been done around it, and there's there's no lock on the door, but it doesn't open. Yeah, so it's no, probably yeah. some kind of magical. Oh, yeah. I wanna thing. I wanna set up the ritual then to do detect magic. After I know that it's magic based, I wanna set up to do detect magic. Okay, so um, meanwhile um. Matthias, you suffocated um, Helmland uh, while this chaotic was going good, on. Chaotic good, guys. I'm not actually chaotic good in this campaign. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly change that. <laughs> so, um, what do you what do you do after that? Um, finish getting a little load of lamp. Put like cover him in the bed and lamp oil in the rest of the room as best I can. And uh, I go upstairs and start the fire in the top floor. Start the fire without mentioning it. Well, I mentioned it to the two guys, so presuming you two are still in the bedroom looting and getting the gold together. Um, so at this point, currently, where around, everyone is right now, um, Roscoe is... Last time I heard, Roscoe was in the bedroom. No, last time you heard, I was down searching his, the body, and then Matthews came down and picked up. absolutely correct, yeah, yeah. So you're searching the body, and um, uh, Kildress, you are next to him, preparing a ritual. The ten minutes for the ritual is essentially, I, I presume it's drawing like a magical circle or something, and various yeah, things. Yeah, pulling on my inner strength and yeah. stuff. Because it's ten minutes in addition to the to the spell's cast time, so I'm presuming it's like drawing a magical circle or whatever that whatever that is, right? So, uh, uh, Roscoe, you can see him do that. 
Yeah, and then Matthews um, comes, he takes away the body, he takes upstairs. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, Matt, so you, do you tell the guys before you start the fight? Well, he would he would see the ritual being performed, so... I, that's, uh, that's absolutely correct, yeah. You would definitely see the ritual being performed. Ten minutes, we need to be out of here. Make sure you've gathered everything you want to take. Ten minutes. <laughs> Good time. How long is this going to take, magic guy? Uh, I, I imagine about 10 minutes. That's good. What a coincidence. So, um, Matthew, are you, you going to hold off for 10 minutes then, Matthias? Uh, yeah, I'm giving the time for the rest of them to finish their search and do what they're doing. And then I'm going to okay. start the fire on the top floor. And then set fire on the second floor. And then the final... So, the 10 minutes later, you... Um... Hildris, you have completed your ritual and you have uh, determined that there is indeed a magical something um, going on around there. And is I that all I at the door? I have absolutely screwed you guys over because um, I've forgotten something. So, um, when you search the body um, of of the guy, you mm -hmm. also found he's got a... He wears a ring. He wears a ring uh, with a... Uh, some. Surprisingly enough, it's got a pigeon album on it. Fuck um, hell. Yeah, I know, right? I can't. I don't know if I can handle that. That's too much for me. No. Um, so he's got like a pigeon emblem on this ring. Um, I'm sure you can imagine what that's for now that I've <laughs> based on when I just remembered it. Um, but yeah, that, that's you find that. Is well, there guess... a hole on the magic door that fits his ring perfectly? No. I guess oh. like a command. Do I, do I learn, <laughs> when I'm doing my detect magic, do I learn that yeah, the door needs like a, a magic key to open? Um, no, you learn the school of magic that it that has been used to. See You'd that. also learn the the ring that's on my person as magic too, because it's that I, would, that's um, absolutely correct. Yes, I'm holding the ring now. Because like it's was like a thirty feet. Yeah, thirty feet circle. circle around yourself. Yeah, so you definitely notice the magic coming from the ring as. Um, I will just I will um. I'll say, can I um? Can I borrow that ring for a second? I think it might be linked to this, uh, this... Yeah, oh, hurry... Money, you can have it back. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't look like it's worth anything, but hurry up, though. Matthias will be yeah, starting I'm... the fire soon. I dare you wait. I'm gonna... push it against any part of the door, and just see if I'm getting a when reaction you, of it. When you bring it to the door handle, the door handle, like, turns itself, and the door just, like, opens. I... I, like, as I realise that the door... I... Too late, I say, I don't know if we should go... <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, uh. Do you, do you go through? You, you can't see what's through the door because it's only just open it. So, just, so, is it a push door or a pull door? Like, am I going to push it and see what's inside or do push I need door. to open it? Towards push door. door. I, uh. Yeah, curiosity gets a bit of me. I place one hand on the door and just push it open standing where I'm around. I hate so, out of the way of line of sight of the door. There's a short corridor, um, like for about 5 to 10 meters. Um, and then it opens up into a stone room, and it's like a circular room, and in the center of it, there's this big pillar, and you can feel, like, even even without your Detect Magic spell, you can feel like a really strong... It lasts, by the way, concentration, like, so... Yeah, so it's, it, it's the strongest, probably, probably the strongest magic you've ever felt um, coming from this room. So, and it, even, um, even Roscoe, you can feel it, like, on your face, like, he... Like, you can feel there's some kind of, like, energy coming from this room. And there's a, there's a, a, a faint blue light glowing from back there. Um, but you can't quite see from where you are. You, you, the doorway isn't tall enough to see to see the whole of the room. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, is it lit inside, apart from this blue light? This blue light is enough to light the whole room. Keldris. We gotta go, man. I don't know when if we should guys, be messing uh, with that. <laughs> See them? I'm like rubbing the tips of my fingers together. But I'm like, are you just a little curious, guys? It's just. I think it's just you and me in this room. And I don't actually. Where's the elf? The elf, you know. Um, he was. He's counting the money in that the, he's taken from the safe. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn to the guys and go. This room shouldn't exist. I mean. Physically, it shouldn't exist, but it does. Are you guys not? Am I the only one here who's? I mean, yes, yeah, magic. Oil? Yeah. I start trailing the oil from the first, from the third floor down <laughs> to the second floor. 
and, and throw the That's lantern funny. through the magic door. <laughs> Fuck you, <laughs> magic room. Guess that's gonna to burn too. I'm just, uh. Magic can do amazing things. Powerful things. I'm. If we go through there. Who knows who might know? Just caution. What What can we gain from the door? Well, I mean, what do we have to lose? Gain our lives? <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that exact same thing. Yeah. <laughs> All the gold, everything. The gold, the lives, or I mean, the pigeon girl will probably kill your family if you've got any. <laughs> like if they find out we've done this. I'm passing the bedroom door and I say to the the elf, um, "We can count it when we're clear. We need to get downstairs now." Uh oh. Uh yeah. Sorry. Uh you know this money. It. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What what you said, and he sort of like gets it up and then starts following you. And yeah, I'm just leading a trail of oil down with the remaining oil that I've got down to the bottom floor. So, yeah, burning to death, not my style. Agreed. I um, I uh, I turn away from the door, and uh, and uh, drop the ring onto the floor. Uh, I don't want to get burned by the the magic. He oh, looks. Magic works, but... He looks in there and he's like, "What's? I got the door open." Cool. What's, uh... Put down the gold cool. before you go in it, elf. He, he looks in there and he's like, "What's what's in the doorway?" I should check something. Uh, continue talking in which yourself. He's he's not walking in there with the gold. <laughs> sure, he puts it on the table and then like looks in there. Yeah. He doesn't step through the doorway. He just looks. Well, that's uh, one way to satisfy your curiosity. And I look at Galdris and like wank. <laughs> See, uh, um, is he all the way in there? No, he's just looking through the doorway. He he stuck his like oh. head through the the boundary of the doorway, and he's. Is it? Have you have you gone in there yet? Do I has see? He, has he done? Has he exploded yet? Oh yeah, or? you see them. I uh, walk over and uh, put down my backpack. Yeah, there's like a humming noise coming from the. Coming from the room. I step inside. Sure. You step inside. You can feel the it, the magic doesn't cause you any pain. Like, but you can like feel the magic. It's like whatever magic this is. It's like massively powerful, but uh, it doesn't cause you any pain or anything like that. Um, as you step through the uh, uh, Daranel, Duranel, sorry, he uh, he follows you. So, what does it feel like? Like warmth, or is it like? It's like warmth. Um, because you're using detect magic, it's like a prickling on your skin as well. Um, okay. Is what's strong. causing the blue light? Can I see it now? I've stepped through the door. Um, there's like a ten foot corridor, so you can't see it just by stepping through the door. But if you if you go further, you might be able to. See. Yeah, I lead the way carefully. Sure. So you, you carefully step forward. Um, the uh, Duranel is like directly behind you, followed by. Uh, so, sorry, guys, I might have missed it. What are we doing? Is, have we set the fire? with that's No, no, no yeah. Matthias no, got distracted by, by the... the ground floor, so we could light it from the ground floor. I didn't know whether we'd suddenly set fire and then be like, let's walk through the door. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, I'll I'll go in as well. Okay. So it's um Matthew's followed by Duranel, followed by Kill. Um, I I like watch Kill Kill just walk in and I'm like I like go, Well, <laughs> I guess that's the life now. And I you know, follow in afterwards. Grabbing the gold that was left behind <laughs> on the table. What if you take the ring with you? I pick it up off the floor if no one else has done it. Otherwise, I was going to say if it's on the floor, I might have picked it up as I walked past. Do you so, know anything about the ring? Here. You okay, weren't there well, for like the ring being used for Ros the door. Roscoe anything. did. Roscoe did say it first, so we'll say Roscoe yeah. picks it up at the end. Um, so you guys start walking down the corridor, and when you reach the end, you see this, um, and this pillar goes up, um, quite a way, uh, into the room, and. What you see is there's like a, a big, like quite a thick, like, uh, like a 12 inch thick, like beam of, of blue light coming through a tunnel. Like it's a stone tunnel. It's, again, it's about a little bit more than a foot wide, um, just enough to fit this, this energy beam through. It goes towards this pillar and there's a big ring at the top of the pillar. And then it shoots out into four different uh, beams and then goes into four different pillars. 
uh, four, sorry, four different um, stone tunnels. And this pillar, pillar is just completely covered in like elvish runes. And there, there's no, there's no other doors or anything. It's just this room. Can I, I speak elvish, so can I read anything that's written on there? Yeah, so um, you look at the elvish and you can't translate it. It's some form of, um, in fact, roll me a... It's uh... so using the elven script, but it's not elvish. It's elven script. Um, As yeah. a selven. Uh, well, we'll wait until, um, wait until Matthews makes his roll. Okay. So, I mean, it depends. when I see it, I can read it, so that's all I'm saying. Is it history? History, yes. 17. 17. So, this script... Um, I, presumably you were taught Elvish by your mother, right? Yes. Right, so this Elvish is not like any Elvish you were taught. This kind of Elvish is like um, High Elf Elvish. Um, so it's like, it's, it is it is a language you understand, but it's a dialect that you don't quite get. Okay. Um, it's like the highest tiers of magic that uh, I'm finding in this. Um, I guess an arcana check as well for anyone else that wants to to have a look at this stuff. More about our buddy, the self and elf. Is he able to read that? Not a magic user, if you could tell. <laughs> You're right. I should um I should make a roll for the uh the Duranel as well. He's an actual I've elf. Made two you. arcana checks, both of them natural one. So um his history check, fifteen. So he, he he's understood the same thing that Matthias has, um and his arcana check is a seventeen. I'm rolling really well today. Um, it's good like you aren't fighting anything. Um, so, uh, me too, yeah, buddy. Um, yeah. So this, it, it's some kind of um, binding magic, right? It, it's it is this magic is like some some kind of like really high level ritual um, designed to um, some kind of containment magic, some kind of um, magical ward uh, to protect something. Um, but it's not really. It, it doesn't say anywhere what it is. And if it, even if it did, you probably be able to read it or understand well, it. Well, if we want to damage the pigeon guild, breaking this binding <laughs> seems like it's important to them. I mean, we don't know the consequences of destroying something this powerful. I'm just going to need to swallow. You talk. Which is oh, we don't know the consequences of walking through magic doors. I think we should get out of here. This is beyond our comprehension. Yeah, and we're uh, we're trying to get in with the uh, in with the sapphire. I don't want to. I mean, this is uh, we didn't come here to explore the magical gateways, as tempting as it is. I agree. And then again, Perhaps we're all. Uh... We can uh, we can learn more of in future, though. Well, yeah. this will probably survive the fire, so it's not going anywhere. Yeah, that's. I was just thinking that. What happens when we burn this place down? I've got the I'm ring. We'll shut the door. Or... Maybe we. Do, are there any stones? If we could put some stones over the door, maybe. I don't think anyone else will have seen this. No, but. Uh... The door itself may not be protected, and it may burn. The wood may burn. If we take the door's no, in the not... wall. It's a stone door, right? Yeah, I thought it was a stone no, it was door. A wood, he said it was a wooden door. He said it was a different type of wood yeah. from the floors and the ceilings. Oh, oh yeah, okay. no, he did say that. I didn't remember. I missed that. So the door may burn and the, the portal may seal itself. I'm down for sealing itself shenanigans. I'm going to come yeah, back and check the runes tomorrow anyway. Yeah, I'm back. What are you guys up to? So decided to unleash the demon. No, we're leaving. What does the elf, elf say? Um, he can't. I mean, he's in the sim similar situation. He he knows it's high elf script, basically. Hey, he rolled so, dark Canada, didn't he? That was his mm -hmm. roll. So he knows this is a kind of high elf script, uh, and it's definitely like magical, some kind of warding magic, but. He doesn't know what it's actually for, what it does. What's his opinion on leaving here and leaving it alone, or destroying it to hurt the pigeon's goat? I mean... Who even knows why this is back here, right? 
This is, this is probably the reason why the bitch of your guilt guy was like, don't come back here earlier. Or it could just be, you know, he doesn't want people going back. I don't know. Um, I mean, I, we have no idea what this does. Like, if this is important to the Pigeon Guild, if it's not, if it's like a private thing that he was doing, or... Unfortunately, he's dead, so we can't ask him now, but you know. He's dead? <laughs> I, I peek up at that. I didn't kill him. Yeah, um, uh, Matthew has just smothered him. Questions, Matthews. <laughs> Interrogation. It can be often useful. Sorry? Ah, it's okay. <laughs> that, that quarrel lasted long. Sorry, I, my headset got out, or I didn't hear you. You were asking me a question. I was just saying that we could have investigated the guy. We could have asked him what it was about, rather. Well... It's too late for that now. I don't think anyone expected this in any case. Can hardly blame you. <laughs> yeah, we, we were never going to want to ask him anything, were we? So. Yeah, no one had I any intention. I suggest we uh, make our leave before we're discovered here. I agree. I mean, do you guys want to do anything in this room or are you just going to leave it? Just leave it, man. I ain't, I ain't book school good to know magic. Unless it's just like something obvious, like here's the ob obvious magical sword that's plugged into this thing. Um, or I would goggles of night. Or comprehend it. Just, <laughs> just, I'm going to throw it out there because uh, normally I wouldn't do this, but I'm only going to say this because I'm pretty sure that uh, the kill just doesn't aware they have this. You have identify as a ritual as well. What does that do? It actually tells you what the magic is. Detect magic tells you there is magic. Identify tells you what the item is. I think while well, we've got some time, yeah, that's something we you can could definitely do. Do you not? Can you only cast things as rituals? You can't just cast it? He has it as a ritual, yeah. Oh, I only rituals. Yet. Okay. I don't know about our, our... Yeah, let's do that. Ah, uh, it's another 10 minutes. I so, guess. do you want to wait 10 minutes and, and do the ritual and find out what this thing does? Yes. Yeah, it's well worth doing, isn't it? If you explain that you can do it, you just need a bit of time, then I would agree. But I would keep, I'd move to a window and kind of... It's going to take 11 minutes to cast. Guys, yeah. No, I, I think I can learn a little bit more about it. Do you, you have a little bit of time to get ready, though. Do you need to use the, the components of a spell to use Identify? Not, Not for ritual, ritual, no. Okay, ritual good, because it you... requires 100 gold pieces for Identify, so who the fuck is ever casting that? In a minute, yeah. it speeds to 11 minutes. <laughs> That's yeah. Hmm. As an artificer, so. which is really good. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, so I mean, if you guys just keep watch for, this, um, no one comes by. Um, you see a guard just like walk past with a torch, but he doesn't make any attempt to like look in the window or anything. Like that. Or the broken the door. door. Smashed in, yeah. He, yeah, he doesn't even make. Any, he's not even looking. He's not even on around with a torch. He doesn't really care. Um, He's like, so, nope, not gonna go involve myself in that. He doesn't, he doesn't even know. That doesn't even know. That, that, even know that yeah. looks like paperwork. He's like, I've got to do my round as quickly as possible. So he's just like walking past, like making a show of it. He doesn't really give a shit. Um, he may even be drinking as well while he's like walking around. Like, what a guy! What a fucking right. guy! At least he's walking, huh? <laughs> yeah, he's putting some effort in, right? So, um, yeah, as you guys, uh, so you're waiting, uh, and then the, the, the spell goes off, um, this, this thing, this, this pillar is, um, a part of a large network of, uh, of other pillars, basically. Um, it's some kind of, like, sealing or containment magic. It, you don't know what it's sealing or containing, um... But it's it's a part part of a larger network of of pillars essentially. Um, there's not like there's not really like much else. Sending stones. Kind of yeah. There's a, there's a there's a large network of these of these pillars, like they they connect to each other. Um, and there's definitely it's some form of um, 
like ceiling or something like that, right? Uh, containment. But um, the identify spell doesn't, doesn't won't tell you like what why this spell was cast. I don't even yeah, know yeah. what it does. I um I verbalized what you just told me to the group, saying that they see me. Well, if it's part of a, a beggar thing, this seems take like the tesseract with us and leave. Okay, um... <laughs> that's too big, right? It's a giant column. It's a giant column with a ring above it. Like the the light goes into the ring and then splits in four beams. When you say ring, do you mean like a physical ring? Yeah, there's like, like a, a there's like a ring vertical. covered in open runes on like that's floating above the. Uh... How, how big are we? Like a ring for your finger, or like a massive ring, uh, a hula hoop. It's like uh, a foot and a half across. Like a hula hoop. Yeah. It's called a hula hoop. Sure, not the crisp. The, uh, not the crisp, the toy. no. <laughs> yeah, let's take the hula hoop and cheese it. And then burn this place to the ground. It won't, it won't disturb it if we remove the hula hoop? Um, mm. It's about 15 feet up. So, I mean, you can try and pull it down if you want to. I mean, I'm not going to stop you. I'm asking the spell the magic guy. Like this? I don't know. I don't know that, do I? But it's going to trap things. Let's assume it does. Um, the ring is definitely a part. Is definitely a crucial part of this this setup. Okay, let's leave the tesseract then. Let's just doesn't our beef? Close it, burn it. Let's go. We got coin to make. Okay, I'm with you. If you if you say we shouldn't touch it, let's not touch it. Well. What I'm thinking is at the moment, <clears throat> the um, the pigeon place won't know that we got involved in this stuff. They can just think it was a fire. Whereas if we start taking giant magical rings and run around with them, we suddenly look very guilty in the burning down of Pigeon HQ. Um, there's, at this point, um, Duranel pipes up and he says, "This this stuff here, this is like proper ancient elf stuff. Like like pre War of Splinters kind of elf stuff, right? History. Be, like if we, if we take. Nope. Okay. Was that sorry? I'm taking if I knew what War of Splinters is. <laughs> um, <laughs> the War of Splinters is a war that happened. Would I know about it? I don't think I would. It's, or is it like super I mean, it's, common it's knowledge? It's fairly like common knowledge, yeah. Okay, sure. 1100 years ago, there was a massive war. Um, there used to be only one elf race. And they lived uh, like mostly across the world. Um, then the war of splinters came along, and uh, they lost. Um, and then elves split into various sub races. So you get the high elves, which went to the north, their own like kingdom. Um, and then the dread elves and the silver elves and the city elves. Um, so what are you saying? It's worth money then? You can fence this. I'm saying, if you put this to like a specialist dealer, right? It's gonna be worth a lot of money because this is like, a, this is like good. This thing here, it's got to be like more than eleven hundred years old, right? It's, this is like super like magical. If you take this ring out, like I, I don't know what's gonna happen if we take the ring out. But if we take the ring out, if we sell it, it's got there's gonna be a collector out there, right? That's gonna pay like moot show. So what you're saying is that's a super rare item that if we took it out, everyone would know where it's from, right? I'm assuming the Pedrin Guild have got words in with. RFI collectors that if they see a ring being stolen, they can just ask around, right? They're going to know. Well, if we can sell it, we would have the money to be able to, for them not to be a problem. Well, that, you say, the only people that know that we were here was the guy that we've just killed. Yeah, I, I so agree. None of, the, I, none, none of the other Pigeon Guild guys know. I we agree, they won't know anything thing. about us. I'm just saying, when they come here and they find their magical artifact stolen, what are they going to do? They're going to look around. They maybe have detection magic. I, I'm not with I'm just saying we should be cautious of them. I don't know if... I, how much do you think this will sell for? If it will sell for more than the Pigeon Guild are worth, let's do this. I think, gonna... we've, I, think we've, uh, I think we've already given up our chances with the Pigeon Guild. And we kind of throw in with Sapphire Syndicate. Yeah, but they don't... Yeah, but they I, don't know. I um, start getting to get, like, put, like, get my rope off my backpack and start trying Maybe to the crash. Sapphire Syndicate will buy it. Well, yeah, exactly. You know I mean? It might be... Yeah. yeah. It might be a secret to their... Their message bending service. It might be like the cutting edge in message delivery. They're developing the internet and email. <laughs> yeah, basically. Electronic <laughs> parchment. 
I, so, um, the upside of, to... I say, the, the way I see it is the upside of taking this down is we could make potentially thousands of gold, right? Off of taking this down. The downside is we don't know what happens when we pull it out. Yeah, good idea. It's your suggestion. I'm going to wear it. Kildas, you said this containment magic, right? It's some kind of ward. Yeah. So yeah. we don't know, we don't know that, what yeah. this is protecting, right? So yeah, I don't think it's that... a message sending. That's hardly containment, is it? But, you know, I mean, as far it's as I'm concerned... It's firewall. It's <laughs> Norton. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probably... The way I see it, it's probably worth taking, right? Well, I'm just thinking, what kind of stories have I heard of ancient magical artifacts have to do with binding that are apparently one of hundreds across the land? You know, yeah, I just think it never yeah, usually yeah. works out well for the people who disturb this. If it's these high elves from 1100 years ago, you know what the world was like then. Like, is there, a, is there an ancient elven story of something like Pandora's box that I may have heard of? Um, yeah, give me a, give me a, another history. <laughs> Darn, why didn't I get proficiency oh, in this? I'll tell you what, if you play in a campaign run by me, you want to be proficient in history. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Um, I yeah, am no. proficient in history. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I've um, just been rolling AIDS. <laughs> yeah, um, you've never heard of anything. Um, your mother was a city elf, so you know ancient high elf uh, lore isn't really her speciality. So, no idea. I start lashing together like a lasso um, that I can throw around yeah. it. Uh, Demonel is, is well is is right there with you. He's like, yeah, let's go for it, man. Let's get this shit. If it's one of hundreds, right? Then I'm sure that you know, just taking one out isn't gonna like break the whole system, right? Oh, you're a wizard mm. now. That's good. Expect that magic <laughs> in battle. I mean, I've never heard any stories about um, some ancient thing lurking and hidden behind runes. Something that terrifying, everybody would know about, right? I mean, for God's sake, it's a pigeon guild. Like, what's the, what is the worst that they could be hiding, right? <laughs> I'm so out of game. I'm so suspicious of, of suddenly this PC, this PC that suddenly all oh, wants to do it. I'm sure Jack definitely hate would hate for us to touch this. Mm. Um, I, me as a character, I'm I've racked my brains for anything that I've been told like this. There's I'm not no seeing a like specific, five. there's no a specific uh, story I'm referring to. I'm just talking about, in general, the tales we, that are told down to us from our ancestors are well, usually well, not. Throw, throw, look throw look at it this way. Throw the lasso. As he's doing that, as you're doing that, look at it this way, Roscoe. If we've already killed the caretaker for this system, it's going to fall <laughs> apart anyway, right? Because, I mean, sorry, does this look? It's eleven hundred years old. I, I look. I'm not stopping you. I'm not stopping. My Matthews can go ahead and do it. I just, if it works out badly, Excellent. I'm just making and the points now. Yeah. <laughs> As you're throwing the lasso, like you, um, the throwing out, like, look, when we're sat, in, when we're each sat in a pile of a thousand gold each, you'll be thanking me. <laughs> I yeah, and we'll happily retire. I'm sure that's how it'll work. Okay. But that's fine. You don't get a cut of whatever we sell this for. If you're not whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, let's, let's, uh, let's not say things about cuts that we don't can't take back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. You, we're both for removing this, and uh, I certainly haven't heard a thing from Kildris. You're, are, you, are you in? Yeah, no, I can uh, I can be persuaded to be a part of this. If there's coin at the end of it, and I'll I, end here. I, I, like I said, I am not, I'm not making, I haven't moved, I haven't done anything. I'm just being the word of caution. I'm just saying, making sure we all make our decision yeah. here together. I mean, ancient magical artifacts of complex uh, origin oh. and and function is surely going to be Gildress's wheelhouse, right? That's going to be yeah. the, the stuff that you're super interested in. So. If we're in, we're in together. That's so what well, party you does. Like you seem like you're out. I had no school. point. I You would know if I was out. For someone that I only met six hours ago, you're obviously you're you're very defensive <laughs> of the pigeon guild. Yeah. Defensive? <laughs> question mark. Everyone Let's... draws their swords. <laughs> <laughs> Let's break into their house and burn their house down. Is defensive? I mean, you guys all like we're all 
fairly, um, you know, unscrupulous individuals. Hey, you hey. Know, I mean, I feel like damn self. <laughs> bounty hunters and and such. I think we could all make a lot better living for ourselves with the Sapphire Syndicate than we could the Pigeon Guild. I agree. And if the, and if the Sapphire agree. Syndicate is saying they want to go up against the Pigeon Guild, I, I'm I'm all for the Sapphire Syndicate personally. I'm not not quite sure what that's that that's what the guy said, but I hope you're correct. <coughs> Because uh, that is, yeah. The so three, uh, three of us are in. Just at, as a DM here, as a, as a DM. Are you Ross, sure? Are you, are you sure that your character wouldn't be more? The what I'm, here? I am, I am. No, I'm just saying that's not what the the guy we spoke to did not say. The Sapphire Guild are declare more on the pigeon I mean, he Guild. Said he, he said he's working for them, right? Yeah, but he didn't. He didn't. Nothing he said suggested he's the actual backing of them. He's like, yeah, I barely know who, who's who's actually I mean, in charge. All that stuff. What I got with the patient was he's a lone guy who's been previously. With them to three no, I am, I am for going with the Sapphire. I have no problem with yeah, that. I just, want, I just want to say, like, I, I, sorry, I don't know if I made it clear enough, but um, the the guy did say that uh, like he this the the the, the rookery was paid for. Yeah, I know they're, they're running it, but if they're, like, going... If they're saying, you know, completely, we got your backs, if that's what he was making clear when we were going up against the Guild, then I would definitely be much more in favour, because... He didn't, he didn't say that specifically. Yeah, because what I... Yeah, the impression I took away was that he was kind of, like... He had been given these, like, this blank check to set up a defence against the Guild, but it's not... He didn't go out and attack the Pigeon Guild. He's just basically, you know... It's yeah, not the okay. same, but... Fair enough. Okay, cool. I, I am to... all for if it. If it was the case that he is he is the Sapphire Girls 100% representative, then hell yeah, we'd be diving down that. I just wanted to um, I just wanted to make sure I knew how much um, of the, the the vapor thing was a part of a character. Like spoilers! Oh my god! No, yeah, for sure, for everyone sure. Everyone else can read it. Everyone else can read it. <laughs> no one everyone else has read it. that though. Three thousand words. That's yeah, the yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> secrecy, <laughs> secrecy in <laughs> volume. <laughs> <laughs> that is the exact. That's the best way to protect your backstory. Just make it stupidly long, yeah. so no one will read it. Um, um, no, for sure, he's he's definitely, but he's not he's not crippled by by it. It's, okay. it's, he's I a sensible to... individual who's lasted yeah, yeah. sixty two years in the wild, not from making decisions. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. That's fine. Okay, cool. But yeah, yeah like well, I said, you, he's so you you throw the lasso he's around the, with ring. the team. It um like it, it takes like two or three attempts, right? But you get it around there. And what, we just pull it down? Pretty much. Give it I mean, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't offer much resistance. It's just floating there, so it just pulls down. When you pull it down... Um, I'm standing, that... like, at the, 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 the entrance way, or the yeah. corridor to leave. The beam of light that was shooting into it is obviously disrupted, and it just goes straight forward. Um, it doesn't fit into the uh, the hole that was directly in front of it. Because it, it travels in a straight line, right? And there were four more tunnels uh, appear off of it so there's a straight line um and it doesn't quite fit in there and it's not quite right and something is going wrong and it just it doesn't look right there's like a weird noise like a um uh like <sighs> a it's like a uh, i can't try, I can't high pitched twain or something yeah, something that's that's perfect. Yeah, it's like a high pitched whine, and uh, it's like slowly building, like it's gonna explode. <laughs> not quite, <laughs> not quite. Um, whatever this light is, it's it's not like this. The, the system is is not happy that you've done what you've done, but it's not like unstable and about to explode or anything like that. And so you pull the you, you lasso the um the ring down, and you sort of like pull it towards you. It lands in your hands. Um, it's made of um, it's made of like a, a, a fine metal. Um, you can't identify the metal just by looking at it, uh, but it's pretty light uh, and it's covered in runes, as as you would expect, or Elvish script, I guess, rather than runes. But uh... Caldrus, is it gonna blow? Yeah, it's about um, I don't know, about eighteen inches across. Um, so you know, a fair sight. You can't just put it in your pocket. Uh, yes. Yeah, Carryable I mean, very easily. It's quite light. I don't think we should stay here for much longer. 
but hopefully the coin will make sure this was uh, this was worth whatever happens next. And I start backing towards the doorway we've just come in through. Uh, likewise. Yep, sure. On my So um, you guys head out the front, out out <clears> the, <throat> the the pigeon door, so to speak. And as you step onto the the wooden floor from the stone floor that was uh, in the in in the the magic room, I guess uh, you can feel the wooden planks vibrating as you step onto them. Oh, that's normal, right? <laughs> we should get out of here quickly. And yeah. I grab my stuff and start heading for the front door. Sure. Um, can any of you create fire? Do you don't know how to make fire? Question mark. Quickly, without a t using using a tinder box. Oh no. <laughs> I'll shoot the I'll shoot the oil. Well, it's my thunder cannon. Does that work? Is that how? It, I mean, I, I, I don't I think mean, that would need, light something. You only need a spark rate right, to, to start a fire. Would would shooting? I, I'm not sure that the the the. Not shooting it, but the spark. The like, spark like, flick, yeah. Like a musket, like a flintlock. The flint yeah. spark would there'd be enough. I mean, it's shooting wild, wood probably won't do is, it, right? I'll, I'll, yeah, yeah, like a tinder box. I don't the alarm anymore. Tinder box oh, would be enough, I think. Yeah, you can get my tinder box out and start um and light a little fire um amongst some parchment or something that he must have had behind his desk, and they'll let it, and then right next to where the oil trail starts to go upstairs and go snaking off to the various parts of the house. Okay. All right, back to the forest. Okay, sure. Um, so you, when you leave the front door, uh, and you can see the fire going. So you just we just run off towards in the direction of the forest. Hmm. Should probably make sure it catches. That that fire fire is going to spread like really quickly. Like as you said, it it's going to snake straight up the stairs and. Um. Towards somewhere to hide. <laughs> uh, are you looking for somewhere to hide in the city or? or... On the edge of the city. <clears throat> Were you hiding because you think it's going to explode? So this no, this building so not is caught by somebody having just. Oh, okay. Fire. So you see on the main map, Bellwood has a north to south um, road, right? So yeah. this the pigeon good is built on that north to south road. So it's a big road, the, like the main road through the town. So it, it's like a, it's like a pretty um, main street area of the of the. So you have to decide. Where are you going to be going? Are you going to try and run back to the inn? Are you going to leave the town? I'm just like, going north again to the forest. How was her? But what was it called? But Alibi. I think we go east out of the town and then circle back and come down the road towards the south. As if we're walking back into town. Yeah, we should also try and avoid the forest if we can because there is a, there is a monster hunt description in there as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, there's tons of fields. I don't think we'll accidentally walk into it, yeah. Let's flee to the forest. Oh, God, the beast! <laughs> Let's flee to the burning house. Oh, God, the flames! I'm sure he could hide. It's not like we've used any. So keep in mind, while you're running, you're, you're, you're holding this ring, right? Um, Matty, you're holding it, because it's it's too large to fit in any kind of pack or whatever you have. Yes. So you're going to be holding it in your hands, as long as you have it. Yeah. Hula hip. Yeah, so... um. Right, you guys. Where, where? Right, where are you guys going? Then? We're not walking um, out of the main road. Them. We're like going like this, I think, to the yeah. hedgerow. So, um, Duranel's suggestion is just go. Straight. You're not in Greenwood. You're in Bellwood. Oh. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. So. Um, oh wow! Really? Yeah. Oh, this entire time I thought we were in Greenwood. <laughs> So, um, oh, no, uh, Jack's the north to south road. Where did you get the north to south? <laughs> I guess I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Duran else suggests going to the Kilfay forest. He just says, Run in there. That's where our alibi is. It's heading that I, direction. I agree, even if it's just the outskirts or where we yeah, where we set up okay. camp in that behind that hedge hole. Yeah, sure. That's I agree was... that we shouldn't go, we shouldn't venture too far in. Remember the whole our cover story. Dorado has a uh, has a cloak. He sort of like pulls a hood over his head while he while he's running. So Ooh. just 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 as a, a flavor. Um, 
So you guys, is that what you guys want to do? Is that you happy to do that? Yep. Yeah. Cool. So you head um, east out of the out of the city. Um, I sent towards your previous hiding place in the the sheep field. Yes. Cool. Head that head out in that direction. Um, how long do you want to stay out there for? Till morning, I guess. Sure thing. Um, you uh, you stay out there till morning. I assume you're getting some sleep. Uh, yeah, but I think we'll take it in turns. Okay. Um, who first, second, and third watch? I guess is. Uh, I'll take first watch. Okay. Anyone else? I'll take last. Uh, I can, yeah, I can go second. Well, you can't see in the dark, right? That's why I'm going last. Perhaps the three of us that can see in the dark should it is, take watches. It is summer, so it becomes like pretty early. Also, I'm pretty sure the stars have been out the entire time. Yeah, it's and not you, like guys, you can't see nothing. Guys, it, it's like 1 a.m. now, right? So it's only going to be like five hours. Okay. Um. So you guys keep watch, uh, and then thing breaks. Thing, I think severe happens while you're while you're keeping watch, uh, and and morning breaks. Uh, and on that note, I I'm gonna take another quick break because I need to toilet break again. Um, <coughs> yeah. So let you guys decide what you want to do in that time. So I think if we're we should head back to the Sapphire Guild place. Tell them what happened. Uh, the rookery. Fest, sorry, a yeah, fest to the burning, and uh, demand payment. The concern I've got is we might turn up there, say we've done it, and he'll go, "Oh, I didn't know I should do that. What payment are you after?" And then um, we're like, "Oh." Well, how much gold did we find? I guess. Uh, I yeah, yeah good, good, good question. Um, <laughs> is it enough to retire? Is I it guess... leaving adventuring money? <laughs> Um, well, no, but um, it certainly will pay for the, doing the job, even if he doesn't provide us that 150 gold. And we have this, of course, and I can uh, spin the ring around in my hands. It's worth nothing in Lent till we sell it. Yeah, it's worth nothing until we sell it in fairness. Oh, yeah. And it's quite conspicuous. Plans for getting that into mm -hmm. the city? Uh, just stroll in. No, I mean, with that thing? Are we okay with people seeing that? I've got an idea. Go on. Bury it? Um, well, no, but if we... Uh, I could have a shield, get a shield made. We can <laughs> stick it on the back. All right, I'm back. What, hide it? What, we could hide it under your shield, couldn't we? Yeah. I can lash it onto my... The, or the back of the inside of my backpack. Or something like that. Are you talking about the ring? Something like your gun, maybe? The same way you're hiding that? Well, if we attach it to... Uh, sorry, Duranel speaks up. If we, if we attach it to either me or Matthias, like, have, have carry it, we'll probably be able to, to fob it off on the humans, because we're elves, right? So... What? Yeah. Well, like... If me or Matthews are carrying it, we'll probably be able to convince the humans it's something to do with elves. Oh, right? I see. Okay. No, we're. I, I'm just saying maybe we should hide it completely. That's what we're saying. Somehow, I feel like this is this ring is not common knowledge to most people. I agree, but if there's a for a rogue, <laughs> the concept of stealth and keeping a low profile doesn't seem to be. The most, uh, your most, ah, oh, fuck, I don't know what I'm saying, you get my point. I'll be real honest, every time I've heard of stealth, use any kind of sneakiness or stealth, so far, as I've met you guys, one of you guys has screwed it up. So... We've only done it once. Only one of us Twice. screwed it up. Twice. When did we walk stealthy the same I, time? We were stealthily going into town and I was really loud. Mm -hmm. And then we were stealthily trying to get into the building and I whacked at the door with an axe. One of you guys. <laughs> Quotation marks. You guys. Long story short, 
I, I've often found that hiding in plain sight is sometimes the best way to get away with things. If you look honest, people will often believe it. I, I'm sure, I'm sure you're right on that. But I think that should questions be asked about? I mean, I don't know how much we want to make it obvious that we were behind it. But should questions be asked by any, say, Pigeon Guild members when they come to check out why their guild, <laughs> their, their store got destroyed? I'm just saying they may say, hey, presumably they know about this ring, which I presume may, may not be the case. I'm just, yeah, it's yeah, a possibility. Yeah, the could be, it, could be, it could be his ring, couldn't it? Yeah, it could be, he, he is a ring one of hundreds, you know, he, he could be house. We're like a day and a half's journey from the nearest town, you know? So, who's gonna like? And we've just taken out the messenger. So who's gonna come and? I'm not saying it's gonna be instant. I'm not saying they were gonna be immediately trailed. You know, things happen in more than a day's time. They're gonna realize there's no pigeons coming. You're uh, awful shifty, there, fellow. Asking a lot of questions, making a lot of assumptions. Okay, so intel I mean, intelligent thought might seem suspicious to you. <laughs> I'll be I'll be real honest. I'll be real honest, Roscoe. Like I feel like we've come out of this really good. Because Good, and I do not want to harm this at all. I don't want anyone to associate us with this artifact. It seems like you're trying to sow dissent. We, we uh, well, I don't know about that. Um like I think he's being reasonably cautious, but I, I feel like I'm just trying to ease your mind, Roscoe. Like, um Yeah, and it would ease my mind greatly if we could get into town and no one thinks that we went into the forest last night and came back with a magical silver ring that we didn't have on the morning. Well, that's the thing, Kilfay Forest, Silver Elf territory, right? Who who's to say we didn't find some kind of Silver Elf ruins put this back with us, right? That's true. I just I hope that I think the Pedro people don't ask. Like, might make a lot of sense. And I think if we just I think we can we can keep it like behind the shield. I think we can hide it a little bit, and if anyone does ask questions, it's just yeah. Really like, I'm for hiding it, hiding it. Sure. Why the fuck are you talking to me? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. That sounds that sounds good. The only the only thing I was worried mm -hmm. about is pigeon people coming here, knowing what it looks like, talking to some people, and then getting our descriptions. Yeah. I think you're absolutely right, but I think we've got several days before that occurs. Yeah, I think we could. I think we got rolled out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's not going to happen. Yeah, for sure. Several days. Thanks. <laughs> Roscoe is definitely confused that this person not being worried about what happens within a week's time. Um, <laughs> never mind we'll on a year scale. Fine. No, we'll it's, leave. Um, it's fine. Well, it's, oh, well, yeah, it's, it's good because the Pigeon yeah, Guild is like. Yeah, it's a Pigeon Guild is a completely localised entity, so we definitely don't have to worry about a name being given to every <laughs> Pigeon Guild and every city in the land. That is the point. Not a few <laughs> days' time. I'm not worried about that. Elf. I've, I still don't know his name because you you don't have it on the page. <laughs> I keep forget. I guess I'll, I'll change the, my my name to the player's handbook. By then, Dude and Elf. By then we'll be in so deep with the sapphires that if the pigeon guild want to come after us, they're gonna have to come after. Well, I hope so. The bigger mafiosa. Hey, we just took down the entire like we took down the pigeon guild's um, uh, Bellwood fucking front. They're they're crippled. Or the Ravens <laughs> fall. It's true. They're crippled. That's probably the. You know what? I'm probably being overcautious. That's probably their entire straight. He was probably their best fighter, actually. You know what? You're right, guys. Let's march in. No, no. The shield plan sounds good. We could. Uh... I, think... I suppose the point I'm trying to make is we're all right for today to, to be walking around. <laughs> we have a, we have a decent alibi for it. Um. Yeah, I'm not worried. And, I agree. I'm not yeah. worried about today. And, yeah, say so in a week's time, like we'll move on, right? Yeah. We could be dead in a week after a wandering chimera. Why worry about it? Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, after the monster in the woods gets us. If we just throw a blank over, that's all I'm asking. It doesn't seem like that, that much of a problem. But yeah, you... yeah, that's fine. We can, well, Matey Boy just said he had a cloak, didn't he? So let's just stuff it under the cloak. Like, yeah. no one's going to ask what's wrong with your back. <laughs> and if they do, we punch them. Yeah. The it's not. The bounty hunters will just kill people what, um, questions. I got, that's what we do. We'll find, we'll find like, a blanket or, a, like, a bedrobe, uh, um... Like a, a bedroll or something to just throw over it. Sure, if, if that makes if that makes Roscoe feel better, then we'll do it. That's literally all I was asking this entire time. That, then uh, say that, Roscoe. I did say that. That was the the very first thing I said was let's cover it up. That's what I said. If you're not paying attention, Matthews, that's on you. All right, let's do it. So um uh, Jornel picks out his um his blanket and throws it over 
Matthias's shield is like is that is that, su is that sufficient? Gen genuine question: Is that sufficient? Do you think? Do you think can anyone see it? Doesn't it doesn't matter if they ask questions. No one can see it. That's all the matters. Oh, Fucking yeah. right. average town person isn't going to remember a blank over a circle. They are going to mm. remember this amazing artifact that looks like it could be worth a billion platinum. <laughs> okay. So the sheep were watching, uh, and the pigeon guild have informants within the sheep. Uh... <laughs> oh shit! Do you know what? Speak to animals. They don't care. They're sheep. They only care about grass, right? My case. The, the hells of eyes, guys. <laughs> okay, so what do you guys want to do? Do you want to head back to town? I see me. Yeah. No, no, head back to. Um... Well, do we have a room at the inn at all? We don't, do we? No. I'm thinking nope. this ring, we need to stash it somewhere because I think that we can't just carry it around with this river because it's the size of a hula hoop. Like, so we're going to sail it. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, matey boy's not going to fence it here, is he? You going to fence it in this town? Friend, I thought we were fencing it to the sapphire goat. Um, I will do a, uh, uh, I'll do a check, and um, uh, Roscoe, you can do a check as well because of your okay. connections. Wrath. Wrath the the uh, can I make a check as well? Oh. Because I've got the, the my class feature. Then everyone gets to make a check because you're both the same that's class. That's about finding people, isn't it? Rather than fencing. I games. have a frequent contact with people in the segment of society that my chosen quarry moves through. These people yeah, I chose mine to be. Isn't I chose mine to be bounty hunters? Yeah, these not... people is, isn't that? Not. Yeah, is, isn't isn't the intention of that to be like person? Uh, this connection yeah, comes in the form of a contact in the, any city you visit, a person who provides information about the people and places of the local area. Right. So who's that going to be? In this town. Um, it's going to be... Should they be the guy who runs the bounties, can... no? Yeah, you came oh, to this be... town to to do bounty hunting, right? So it's going to be someone like that. It's also people yeah. in places, not fencing. People. You fence goods with a person, not a place. <laughs> but you're not really a thief character, are you? But no, I, I have contacts within the criminal underworld. Okay, so so who, who's your who's your contact then? Um, it is going to be someone who works at the Ezra Stables in town. Um, yeah, uh, that sounds about right. It's a big enough town. Makes sense. Um, one of the apprentices at the stables is someone I'm aware of, uh, someone I know. And uh, the reason they're my contact is they know who comes in and out of the town. Okay. They may, or may not be associated with uh, a criminal gang or something like that. I'll leave that to you. Let me just second. Uh... By the way, when you guys look into my eyes, you see that I've faced unimaginable horror, and that I'm no stranger to darkness. I <laughs> <laughs> roll. Um... Very also, place. commoners are really nice to me. Sure, there's... <laughs> okay, sure. Right, uh, that's... Okay. There's, there's, a, there's an apprentice, uh, that works at a, uh, stable that you, that you know. What are me and you rolling, Jack? Um, I've, I've, I've forgotten what I said. What you I'm said, I don't know, you said Roscoe and Didanel will roll. Because uh, of their contacts yes. or something. Yes, sorry, uh, bear me, I just accidentally clicked the game. Um, uh, oh. And then I was like, can I roll? He had no idea what the roll is, or anything to do with the roll. Can I roll things, please? No. Oh, I came here to roll dice. Brain function. Um, it's to... The roll is to see who you know in the town, isn't it? What was it? A oh, guy. Yeah, it's to see who you know in the town that uh, most likely be able to sell this stuff, right? Um, I, I think I said it was, it was something to do because I was, I was saying I thought we were selling it to the um, criminal organization. Yeah, Sapphire, yeah. it's going to be some kind of charisma check. I 
Uh, let me bring the character sheet so I can have a look at the. Um, it's gonna be a. Not a lot there that's like applicable. I, I don't want to. I, I keep saying history, but history is like the best catch-all for everything. Really. Just raw charisma then. Um. Uh, it's gonna be. Yeah, it's just gonna have to be a charisma check, I think. Or yeah. Well. Boom. Sit down. Seven. Yeah, so um I have been rolling pretty well I'd say because I don't most of the attributes that I've got are plus ones or plus zeros. <sighs> Basically you're not good. something like this, if you want to get a good price for it, you're gonna have to go to a, a big city, right? So um the big cities in, in this in the Hammer Vale are either Hammer Dawn, Arbor Vale or Stonewall. So the Hammer Dawn gets the most trade. So it's like pretty, uh, it's That's... a very diverse group of people there. Mm -hmm. uh, Stonewall is, um, as it is very heavily dwarf and gnome populated. Mm -hmm. uh, so if you want to sell like magical goods, like arcane stuff, like they're probably going to be quite likely to buy it just because there's no. If you want to find an elf to buy it, you're probably best going to Hammerdawn. If you want to find someone. No, a Lawson is a Lawson small. What's that, sorry? A Lawson. Where's that? South of Greenwood, the big giant Elsa. Oh yeah, Ellison. You could go to Ellison, Ellison. And, um, and possibly sell it there. Um, it would seem to be the obvious. For a call, the the problem with that is that it's a city of of like a lot of refugees, right? Because most of their homeland has been burnt. Um, so you, you might struggle. It's not like a high oh. city. Well, refugees are not always poor. Wealthy people's land um, get burned too. I was, it, it, it's a uh, it, it's a city in that's struggling right now economically. Yeah, okay. That's what that's what I'm meaning. Um, so yeah, Hamadorn has a has a large variety of people. So you might you might even find a high elf there uh, if you're lucky that will buy it. Um, and then you might get who knows how much for it. Um, Stonewall uh, is as I said, is dwarves and gnomes. They're pretty interested in sort of like arcane devices, which I guess is will come under like artifacts. Um, and Arbor Head is 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 uh, it's a human it's a primarily human city, heavily like there's lots of druids there and stuff. Uh, but they might um, they might be interested in sort of uh, ancient artifacts and that such as potentially that you could. Okay. Get How many out. days does it Arbor Head from here? You can you can travel twenty four miles in a day. Uh, at a normal pace, or thirty if you if you go fast. We can fucking peg it, is what you're saying. Well, I say, yeah, dude, dude, apparently thinks we've only got a few days before they they know that that something's messing. Eventually, someone's gonna notice that the pigeon can be burnt to the ground. Yes, I I'm not. No, I don't. Obviously, no one cares about the pigeon can be burnt to the ground. We're talking about like insiders who may know that only if this is one of hundreds, like you've said. Eldris. Yeah. I mean, I'm just thinking that maybe the other owners of them, I don't know if it's like, were they connected? They were like. Yeah, so it's like a like a telephone signal, isn't it? I imagine. Like a shield. Yeah, there's, there's no way to know, I guess, that if. So they might have realized instantly, like as soon as it was broken. Yeah, who, who knows? Yeah. Like... It's possible that, like, uh, that, that wherever those, those places connected to. Who even knows, like, what the Pigeon God has to do with it, right? Yeah, it could be like a super high level wizard who's got divination spells. Maybe it was just it was just that one guy, right? We don't know. We have no idea if it's even anything to do with the Pigeon God. No, but of course. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I agree with you, Dur, now. As a rogue, you of course want to fence your stolen goods <laughs> as quickly as possible. So I'm on your side there. <laughs> In my mind... I would rather sell it in Hammerdawn because the bigger city okay. that you fence something in, the better, because you can. It's just easier for it to, to become in the in the in the crowd, so to speak. Yeah. Okay. And a high yeah. value transaction, going or high value goods exchanging hands, there'll be more of it in bigger cities. It will, it will yeah. go more unnoticed. Let's let's go. Let's go to the rookery. First, do you, do you want to check in with the Sapphire people first of all? Yeah, yeah. not done. Yeah, rookery. So, uh, I want to get the reward for like taking out the. That's why I said let's go to the rookery. Do you still yeah. have Wait. that ring? 
the one that gets you inside? <laughs> yeah. Yep. The pigeon ring. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll also, um, do we still want to do the kill by the, the monster in the kill by forest? Do we, do we still want to go for that? What, the 150 gold when this is worth? What did you say? A million platinum <laughs> there <or> now? <laughs> <laughs> I said it could be worth thousands of gold. Who knows, right? We, we I'm not a specialist on. Well, you seem very confident doing it now, so any. Yeah. You were really, time really fell as a billion. Someone <laughs> was talking about retirement money, right? <laughs> we need I to mean, do the we need to could, do the quest to kill yeah. the beast. Theoretically, you could, you could retire on like two hundred gold in this world, so it's not adventure of money, is it? So. We need to we need to complete the and kill the beast. Why? It would just oh, suddenly you're worried about suspicion. Matthias, well, I'm glad you've finally come around. We've established, we've established an alibi. We need to see that through. You're worrying about what might happen months from now. We may be dead in a ditch months from now. Oh yeah, you're right. We may die to this oh, crazy monster. We have no idea. Dead in a ditch. <laughs> I yeah. I'm sorry, Matthias. If me and you are so, uh, dissimilar, that I do not plan my life as if I'm going to die within the next week. I, I agree. agree. I agree, Matthias. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm with Roscoe with this, Matthias. I oh. plan to lose. So. We don't know what the monster is. We don't know if it's more than we can handle. It, it seems like a distraction. I agree that it's, we have the we had a, we have the alibi there. We went and we searched for it last night. We found no trace of it. It's not worth our time or money. That's yeah, our excuse. No, yeah, yeah. To be honest, I'm I'm fine either way. Like if it, it, if you guys are confident that we could kill whatever is in that forest, then I'm happy to get the money for it. But to be honest, I'm, I'm not confident we, we could kill it. We don't even know what it is. <laughs> we don't know anything about it. Yeah, I I'm not really fussed either way. To be perfectly honest, like, I mean we've got money right here. I think he he points at the the ring. The money. <laughs> points at the fat stacks, stacks on stacks on stacks. So yeah, no, fuck it, let's go. speak to the rookery, then just go. Let's get the let's yeah, buy it, the yeah. fastest horses let's we can get and go to Hammerdon. Sounds good to yeah. me. I think so I heard one of you guys so had a panther they could ride as well. Way. I don't think we're throwing okay. it away, right? I mean, we can say that we went out there. We did. We we went out there. We couldn't find it. What well, more? What? Well, I don't think it's that unusual. Well, we do, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like I'm taking the hit as the ranger amongst us, you know, my reputation is... It's kind of oh, yeah, joking. You just say you're a bad tracker. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Well, Roscoe, is that your professional I mean... tracker? Is that what you are, halfling tracker? Uh, I was... I wouldn't call myself a tracker. I was trained in the army to be a scout. And uh, tracking ended up being a lot of what we did there. <laughs> I know my way around the forest. The earlier when I was chewing out the tracker, I meant... The other guy, the rogue. So. Oh really? <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought you were talking to me. For the record, Rusko, you're a, uh, you're a ranger, right? Yeah, I'm a ranger. Okay, cool. Just want to double check that. Yeah. Okay, I understand now and apologise for my remarks earlier. Oh, I don't. I said, Let's leave this track in a ditch. <laughs> How dare you insult like, the player that isn't what? here? <laughs> <laughs> you're like what? So you do not understand that until now. Why I was like, hey, why is it? Lol, that's hilarious. Um, ah, it's water over the camel's back or whatever the fuck it is people say. <laughs> whatever the expression is. Um, okay. You you happy, Matthias? Or you, yeah, do you I just think we're throwing away an opportunity, that's all. Well. If we're, we do anything we do as a team, so. I think... I think it's not probably not worth going to, into the forest to risk our lives for that, that money when we've got perfectly good money right here. I mean, it's got to be like ten times. Well, ten times, right? Whatever we're going to. There be at least things. fucking ten times. Perfectly good money. We've got perfectly good money here, and we've already got a lot, right? And we're about to get more from, I'm from just the rookery. It might take us some time to sell an artifact of this value. To actually find a buyer and yeah, and oh yeah, probably like for a week sure. or something. And Hammerdon, where we're searching for one, but we can get lost in Hammerdon pretty easily. It's a really massive city. I have some contacts there. Likewise. 
Fair enough. I'm sure everyone has contacts with Amazon, right? Like, it's, it's like the, everyone, everyone's been there at least once. Hmm. You'd be surprised. Um, quick question: When we were kind of setting setting up camp, where we where we did the other night, we had a fairly good view of the town, right? Um, uh, yeah, it's going kind of flower up in fields, yes. right? Yeah, because yeah, it, it's uh, been sort of probably probably been deforested a long time ago, and then farmland has been set up on there. It's generally animals like cows and sheep and stuff that are in this area. You're currently, uh, you're not technically supposed to be here, right? Because it's a sheep field. Yeah. Uh, but I don't think if you just sat there with like your swords and stuff, and you were sat in the corner, not not bothering anyone. I don't think any farmers can bother you. It was more a question that um, could we could we see the place burning down? I would hope so. Did it definitely go up in flames, or did we? Are you talking? Them? I can't. Hey. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Jack. Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Hello. Yes, yes, I'm good. I can hear you. I can hear you. I can hear you. Um, so, could we see the pigeon gill burned down? Uh, you can see the, the smoke plume, but you probably can't see the exact building like perfectly. Don't know if they'll burn down either. I said you're, you're about twenty minutes outside of town. So, oh. was it walk, normal walking speeds? What five miles an hour? Right. Oh, so for a fast minutes. walker, maybe. Yeah, so I'm, well, I mean, yeah, I, I assume a bit. We are, we are, my, we are, yeah, we are, well, I, my feet are a little short and stuffy, as is the gnomes. I mean, if you see the walking speed in, like, the DMG players, man, very, very fast. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we'll assume you're, like, a mile outside of town, so you can probably see from there. Well, is it, and, and it's now morning time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there still smoke Let's rising? See, uh, head back into town, then. There's definitely still smoke rising, but that's to be expected. Even if the fire was put out, there's to be smoke rising. Yeah, that's just making sure. Yeah, yeah. smoke. You know, if some magic user or something. Yeah, he, yeah, he reversed time. On the... Yeah, you know, you know, it's um, yeah. Let's I agree. Head back, go to the rickery, and then get out of here. Sure. So you you start heading back to town. Um, you have to go past the pigeon get. Get to town. So um, as you walk past it, um, you guys see the building. It's pretty much collapsed um, at this point. Oh, really? The, good. The, the front of the building is still there, um, but like the sides and the back have fallen in. Um, do you guys go have a, a look at it, or do you guys just walk past and not pay any attention? Because there's a crowd around it, like having a look. Uh, it's, it's a big deal. So the stone back wall of the. Um... I mean, I'm like we're glancing at it as we walk by. That's the one where the door was on, the magic door. That's fallen. That's collapsed. You said. Uh, the back, the back of the building is collapsed. Yeah, it's only okay. the front. From, from the, the back of the, the, the yeah, there. the back of the building was where the magic door was, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, yeah, I'm pleased to that. But yeah, we just. So do you guys go? Because honestly, you, you, you're pretty, you're pretty short in comparison to the. So if you want to go have a look, you're gonna have to have like, go over there. No, I don't. I'm just looking as we pass by. I don't I go, go up for to the look. back of the crowd and say, "Oh God, what happened here?" Uh, some guy turns around to you and says, uh, "I don't know. There's a fire in the night." And the next two buildings to the left of of the Pigeon Guild have also burned down. The fire spread across uh, all the buildings. Um, God, that's horrible. Yeah, the uh, no one no one caught it until the early hours of the so. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I I don't know what happened to any any people. There's a lot of uh, a lot a lot of damage done for sure. So there's like three buildings total that have gone down, including the pigeon guild. Were none of the guards out last night? What about the people who left there? I have no idea. I, I live on the other side of town. I just I just saw I, as I walked past this morning. I, I saw this and... horrible. Well, there goes I our quest that. reward. <laughs> <laughs> There's one thing I love, it's quest rewards. Yeah, that's worrying. Uh, do you guys go and have a look at the building, or do you guys just stay at the back? Just make small talk with that guy, and then... Um... Yeah, just... just do... You're cutting out there, Kildris. Can you hear me, is that right? Yeah, no, yeah, you're good. Just a little, that sentence. Yeah, just... 
just innate chit chat, don't we, with the guy? Yeah, just try and find out, ask a couple of people to see what they know. Yeah, I mean, um, there's it, in general, it's like they're just talking about like, ah, oh, I heard that the the guy that runs the Pigeon Girl was still in there. You know, he died, and it's like, oh well. I... I mean, no one ever used Pigeon, pigeon Guild anymore anyway, right? So, yeah, who really cares? Reasons. To be honest, people didn't really seem a fan of the Pigeon Guild. Um, most people don't really like them, uh, just because they they uh, overcharge so much. Um, for the luxury of the Pigeon, though. Pay for exactly. brand, didn't you? Huh? Um, sure. So everyone will a perception check with disadvantage, please. Is that roll twice? Take the lowest. Uh, roll twice, take the lowest. Yeah. Okay, so four. Fourteen. Uh, seven. So, Matthias. Uh, is that everyone rolled? Mm-hmm. I rolled. I got four. Seven, four, fourteen, seven. Uh, yeah. So, um, Matthias, when you you're talking to people, you're sort of like glancing towards the building. Um. At the same same time as as talking to this guy, um, the the building is like Vernon's gone, but you can see like through the front door where the front door was, um, and it's just a huge drop off. Like there was a basement, like a huge basement underneath the building. Um, there's a big hole in the ground where the building used to be, basically. Uh well, no, I don't see that. <laughs> Hang on, I don't mumble to myself. <laughs> That's 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 what you see. You can't really see anything that was in there or basement underneath the uh, the building. I don't really think anything of it. Just the fact that it was strange that there was no door to the basement that we saw. Might be on the exterior. Excuse me, Jack. Hello. Is it not it's probably it's probably just killed his dog fucking doing something bad again. It's a misbehaving dog you have there, uh, Alex. But you love him anyway. So, uh you do you move on to the the rookery? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you head through town to uh to get through the rookery. And when you get there, there's uh there's two guys out there. Two like big burly guys, and they've got um, one of them's got a uh, like a blue uh, bandana on, and the other one's got like a, a blue like uh, some kind of cloth uh, tied around his arm. Is that the sign of the Sapphire Gang, Sapphire Squad? Um, from what you know of these guys, probably <laughs> it makes an it's an intelligent assumption to make. Assumption to make. Yeah. I nod my head and try to go in between. So you uh, you try to go in and uh, I'm in front of you. Just people were what's, looking uh, what's your business here, guys? Collection. Collection on what? I look around the street. I mean, oh. the pigeon girl is on the other side of town, so. No, I'm looking for like other people. What was the name of the uh, the shop owner again? I can I can't remember. But uh, did he give us a, a name? A a Wolf. Oh yeah, Eowulf. Yeah, that's right. Eowulf. He no, it was Eowyn. Yeah, he really wrote it. It wasn't Wolf, was it? It was no, when. I don't remember. When it was Eowyn or something. Eowyn. Uh, Eowyn. Eowyn. Eldwin. 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 Oh, uh, I we're just looking to speak to Eldwin. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Eldwin was worried uh, about a couple of guys that the match a description. I was probably he, worried uh, about us. <laughs> he yeah, probably. probably. <laughs> he uh, he he had he had a word with us and told us that maybe there's some troublemakers abound. I don't suppose that'd be you guys, would it? Nope. That's another collection of a half like a gnome, a half elf, an elf. <laughs> it depends on who you ask. They look at each other and they're like, "Don't make this hard." Like. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so yeah, as yeah. us. We have a we we have a gift for him. After a conversation that we had with him yesterday. 
So they they, they gave you an eye and they're like, mm. all right, go on in. So they, they open the door for you. They open the door for you, but uh, do you, do you go in? I yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. So you go in and they follow you in, and there's two more guys in there. So there's. Okay. This is perfect. In, there's four guys in there with you, and then there's uh, um, uh, El Eldwin in there with you as well, and he he's looking pretty nervous. Um. And he's like, "Oh, you're you're back." Hey, Jai, do I, do I recognize any of the guys? Uh, no, you didn't. No, not no, yeah, okay. It's a, it's a pretty expansive organization. Okay. Uh, more 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 people in this thing. Are these sapphire people, or do we not know that yet? Well, they've got blue armbands, so I mean, take your guess. The Pedrigal guild has been very subtle in their decoration so far, so I'm sure. <laughs> 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 I uh, I'm gonna like take out the pigeon ring and uh, chuck it. If it's if there's no like normal person, and chuck it on the table on the counter. Sure. Um, Eldwin's like, oh, I, he sort of breathes a sigh of relief, and he's like, oh, I was uh, I was worried you were going to take, you were going to come back here and for not good reasons. What could possibly give you that impression? <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for you, no, I don't. <laughs> I, uh, I, I, this, I, I heard about the Pigeon Guild uh, going up in flames, and I, 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 I'll be honest, I wasn't one hundred percent convinced. I, I was worried it might be a, co a coincidence, but yeah, it was being... just a coincidence. <laughs> wink, wink. Of course, it yeah. was just a coincidence. I found this ring on the street, and wink. I tapped the side of my nose again. <laughs> Uh, he, yeah, he breathes a sigh of relief, looks to the guy to his right, um, and the, the guy nods, uh, one of the, like these big burly dudes, he, he nods, and uh, he pulls out from under the counter a, a pouch, uh, and he puts it on the table, and he says, that's the uh, 150 gold that we agreed upon. Free, free ravens too? He says, <laughs> I will allow you free ravens from, from my... <laughs> Free um, anytime, of course. Yeah. It's a pleasure doing business. Sent boys. <laughs> I, I presume Duranel should. I, I, I know him for Duranel to count the coins. I don't think we just take coins in a shim. Uh, yeah, he, he goes through and he, he very, very dexterously uh, starts going through the, the money when you guys talk. Um, perhaps as well, you could uh, let your uh, fellow rookery. Um, establishments know um, of us and that we'd be willing to help should they require it and they need something done more subtly and I glance at every all the other four guys wearing blue bandanas and stuff uh, Elfman looks towards uh, the big guy to his, his left which is he's clearly the leader of the guys that are in there and he says, uh, says I, uh, I catch your drift guys uh, you're not subtle but you get the job done Hey, that's our group's nickname. <laughs> We're subtle in the sense that it can't be linked back to you. <laughs> uh, Less yeah. subtle than those armbands, I think. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Zing, more subtle, really. you dick, guys. <laughs> it says, uh, we aren't particularly worried about uh, anyone coming for us. Uh, well, Take uh, for the we'll pigeon be... guild, clearly. <laughs> Yeah, the Pigeon Guild, they are uh, they think they can take a monopoly on, uh, on all this messenger business, but uh, it's, it's pretty good pretty good money if you know how to do it, you know what I'm saying? You see, do you see they think they could... Um, do you know how much that I know of the history, the history of the Pigeon... I, the, my entire life, the Pigeon Guild has been a monopoly here. Yeah. That's a long time. Yep. I say to him. He says, yeah, it's, uh, oh, I mean, I, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not the one that makes decisions, right? I'm not the one that decides. That yeah, I'm just saying, you said you know, you think, you think they, they have a monopoly. I'm all for competitive markets, I mean, I'm just saying. They, they clearly had a stranglehold for it. Give me a persuasion roll. A long time. Okay, I'm just like, correcting this guy. It's right now. Yeah, give me a persuasion <laughs> <laughs> so This guy, in fact, this guy, you, you might have like... Met him he's never believed anything yeah. more in his entire yeah, life. You might have met him before, and he's like, wait a minute, do I do I know you? I swear I recognize you from somewhere. I've not met many half. Do yeah. I know you? I maybe, yeah. 
for you, mate. Uh, dude. Let's get let's get a name for this guy. Um, Maybe he was like John. someone with the guy who I was dealing with. That's why I don't remember his face. Uh, this guy's name <laughs> is is is, is, is uh, Gar. I I do a, do a lot of dealings with the Sapphire squad. Says yeah yeah you're the halfling guy right? I think I met you. I'm the halfling guy. <laughs> no 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 yeah there aren't many halfling dealing. And he sort of like looks at the party and he's like, the stuff that you deal in. Yeah. Right? Roscoe. Uh, yeah, yeah, Roscoe, that's it. I know you. Uh, yeah, I mean... Okay, because I just uh, came into a lot of gold, so I'm glad you're here. These Pigeon Guild guys, they... Uh, I don't know why they've managed to hold a monopoly on, on this whole messenger business for so long. Like, it's not that expensive to run, you know? Like, <laughs> I mean, you just got to have, have a couple of, of ravens and... It's just it's as good. Done, right? way. <laughs> Better, yeah. clearly. Yeah, it's just as, it's just as good, right? I mean, whatever. I don't I don't know what their deal is, but we've uh, I mean, we've done fine. Wow, fuck. your enthusiasm for the project almost makes me to start up a rival suit seagull. Or or all right. Um, really good oh. albatrosses. <laughs> <laughs> um. um. That'd be a heavy freight company, more than a post service. <laughs> <laughs> he's, uh, he's like, yeah, um, he's like, hey, um, we've, uh, maybe got some, some product that you're interested that is, in. I've just came into gold. I'm looking over <laughs> at, at Dude and is he finished? How fortuitous. It's, I mean, yeah, it's the correct amount of gold in, and No, but is he divided up as well? Oh, he won't divide it. It's 150, so it's, he... Fuck knows. Um... I think I think we misheard. It was 160, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it'd be easily <laughs> divisible. Rather than 36 point six 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 six, it's 40. Uh, it says we gave. I, mean, I don't think that's. I gave uh, old Ilwin here 150. So unless he magically came up with 10 gold out of nowhere. I think Alex was saying that just to divide it easy. I was just saying that just so we could divide it by four. Yeah. I mean, it's 37 and Dude. five silver. That's. That's pretty easily divided, so... That's... <laughs> okay, I, I pick up, and I'll, I'll give him 20 gold. <laughs> he says, you, uh, you're pretty forward, ain't you? Ah, uh, look around. <laughs> this is not the usual place I do business, but... <laughs> uh, I haven't got any on me, bud, but... Uh, we'll... Oh, I thought you'd literally just said you had... Okay, well... No, no, no we, we've got some... I don't carry it around with me on my person. We'll, uh, you're staying at the inn, right? We're leaving. Today. Today. Uh, tell you what, um, you meet me back behind the inn hour after you leave. We can, uh, we can sort something out for you, yeah? I know, I know, yeah, okay. Uh, well, maybe. I, I'll look at the guys oh. to see if that's okay. Do you guys have something you need to do, or are we bolting out here straight away? No, 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 that's cool. That's cool, I mean. Good. Yeah, okay. I know it's good. I, I can't I believe how you accepted they were. Uh, yeah, okay. I, I don't know why, but Kildus' reaction there just reminded me to every drug deal I've ever been on. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure, man. I'm cool with it, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um... So he says, yeah. Bring a uh, lot, bring a lot, because, you know, I've got no time. <laughs> uh, he says, no no problem. Um, it, he sort of chuckles to himself. He says, uh, yeah, the the Savas Syndicate is grateful for your contribution uh, in this little little corner of the kingdom. Uh, we'll, we'll keep you in mind for, for future <laughs> uh, work, I suppose. Need any messages taken? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to hammer Um Yeah, so I mean, that's this kind of like he's implied that's the end of the the conversation that you guys are having. Yeah, I mean, I look <laughs> around to see. If... Stop talking. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to speak to him about? Nah, that's cool, man. Got the money. Let's fucking cheese it. Bounty's paid. Got the case closed. So where do you guys want to go? Um, Cross. If 
What else okay with that? Um, yeah, carry this yeah, cross. Yeah, yeah. Down, yeah. Unless nice. you want to go south to Greenwood and go around that way. I just think I'll take one. I think, yeah, you're, you're right. Carriage's cross is good. Um, are we going to buy horses? I mean, are do you guys have horses? Well, yeah, I've got a contact in the stable, so we can go get some horses. I, mean, I don't need a horse, but I don't know how much money you have yet, so... Total. Yeah, um, did he count it up? He seems like the kind of obsessive compulsive rogue that would count exactly how much he'd stolen. Um, before. He would have done, but you stopped him halfway through. Also, he doesn't have the money. I've got it. He has some of the money. No, he laid both of the bags on the table when he walked inside the... True enough, yes. You're and correct. then I took it, and I also had the other money that was in the thing. But you, you haven't counted the money yet. I have not counted the money, no. no. But 37 oh, should okay. be enough for a riding horse, right? I have no idea off the top of my head. Right. We've got horse riding money. We... We are money. There's two extra bags, right? So that should be a lot. It's at least 200. Let's find somewhere quiet and count up that spare money. It's a good shout. Okay. Probably somewhere out of sight as well. Like, not necessarily like we, could get, we could get a quiet, maybe, in the tavern. They have back rooms. Like, private yeah. rooms. I'm, could... I'm sure if you pay them enough money, they'll... We don't want to splash too much we'll cash around. Give, give them a gold piece and then we can... We're renting a room for the day. Yeah, good show. How much room? I, I mean, sit in a bedroom. Yeah. I mean, you already gave him a gold for the day, and you have one drink, so. <laughs> hey. We're on that same. We're on that same gold. That's gonna carry over today. And we'll go inside the room and uh, count the money. Cool. So you go back to the inn. You pay the guy, and he's like, "Sure, take a room." You have a room, and you start counting up the money. So, um, in each one of those bags, uh, each bag, the, the guy that ran the Pigeon Guild seemed to be quite um, good at keeping records. So, each bag is 100 gold, exactly. Nice. Um, each bag is like 50 gold and then 500 silver. So, is, is that, exact, is that exact amount okay. in each bag. Um, obviously, you've got all the silverware, um, which was uh, basically three sets of plate, knife, fork, and then a uh, uh, candlestick. Love it. Excuse me. Uh, and then you have the um, personal money that he kept, mm -hmm. um, which was um, one second. I'm kind of surprised he was offering us the entire funds of the store. It was two hundred gold pieces if we did his mission, right? And that's all he had. Well, no, because how many bags were did we find? Three. Oh, three? Oh, I thought oh, sorry, we had two. There, there, there are two bags in the safe, and there was one in his personal. Oh. Uh, and in the personal, there was 57 gold and... And the chest. Uh, this, this is in the chest that you've broken open, is what I'm okay. suggesting. So, um, like, I yeah. took some of his life savings as well. <laughs> yeah, so it was uh, 57 gold and uh, 212 silver. Nice. And uh, yeah, all the silverware as well, and uh, the magic ring that you have. Um, so we each get. Just fuck to the mass. Oh, okay. Hundred seventy uh, silver and fifty four gold. I'm just gonna need to toilet again while you guys decide for your loot. And then we got thirty seven. Gold and five silver from. Okay, everyone gets you one golden hundred and eighty three silver. That was a good day. Beautiful. Thank God we never did that fucking. The uh, monster hunting quest that for. That can't possibly be right, Ross. Hmm. Oh, it's you're right. You're silver in each of those. Bags. You're right. You're right. You're right. After some, I'm an idiot. Ignore the silver part. Uh, the silver part is actually. Thank God you're here, Alex. We just have lost like. We each actually get four hundred and thirty-three silver. I was wondering why our silver is so low. 
I am now carrying 11 pounds of coins. Yeah, I had to get 10 pounds myself. I'm actually so... In the fucking... Ha when you're small, you only get to carry half as much. So, as soon as Jack said, like, you don't have your, your mind, I was like, what? I'm, like, so encumbered, I can't walk. <laughs> I guess. But, yeah. I'm returned. Right. Yeah, sorry. So, you, you happy? Yep. Exact. Right. Um, are you guys happy to add your stuff to your character sheet, or do you need help? I'm looking at the key. Is that how much you've got each in gold? 428. 82 gold. And no, eighty-one gold and four hundred and thirty-three silver. Why does it say four to eight on there? Because I thought it didn't add the five from the other bag. Four three three and eighty-one. Nice. Yeah. Um. So you should have twenty on your sheet. So I'm gonna add twenty-four. Right. So there's twenty there, and then you can add. Are you, are you in a position to add whatever you need to your character sheet? Yeah, I think I can add it. Okay. Cool. Um, I guess that doesn't take too long, so I'm gonna go sell all the shit that I don't need from my backstory, from my uh, inventory that you start with, like a longbow that I can use. Just yeah, just just go for it. So what do I get for that? Like half or like full or three uh, quarters? Yeah, say say half. Okay. But no, no, say say full price. You were talking to that guy in the general store before, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, "Yep, yeah, I'll happy to help you with whatever you want." So yeah. Great. It's a brand new unused longbow that I have. <laughs> Okay, thanks. I guess I'll, I may buy a few things from him, but I don't want to do that now because it's boring. Like a short bow and stuff like that. I am. Um, take. I, I go in this time to the blacksmith in town. Or the weaponsmith. Sure. Um, what do you want to. How long would it take for you to make a dagger, friend? Uh, well, uh, I have daggers. Just, just regular daggers. I've got, so I've got a couple made up just in case people need them i have a specific material in, in in my possession that i would be looking for you to make it out of depends what the material is friend silver uh a silver dagger Whew. um yeah i haven't got any of those to hand um i can sort one out but it's gonna take a couple days probably ah don't worry i need to head out of town soon um i was hoping i could uh, i could have it done quickly but that's uh, uh that's sorry quite friend I, I don't have uh any anything prepared for you sorry no of course uh perhaps uh the use of your grindstone uh for my axe uh before i leave though um sure no. toss me toss me a silver <laughs> and we'll, we'll call it even yeah i'll give him a couple of pieces i'll give him two pieces of silver just for him to sharpen up or hone my axe sure me. no worries you do that um meanwhile um roscoe an hour has passed okay i slide up the bag <laughs> <coughs> so at the back, and one of the guys who was at the uh, the rookery has uh, is outside waiting for you. Lovely afternoon for a stroll. <laughs> right, he's got yeah. quite a happy smile on his face, almost predatorial. Yeah, uh, he, he basically hands you like a little like uh, wrapped up satchel. Well, uh, I'm going to talk yeah, about you, how much uh, or something first. <laughs> and he takes the money off of you. Was it the thirty-seven gold you gave him? No, no, I didn't give more. I said like twenty gold. I thought would be enough to buy a lot. How much? How much are we talking for? Like one, one night, one dose. Like it should one be pretty cheap, be, right? I think five gold. Really? How are commoners affording this shit? I thought this was the wild thing. Funny that. <laughs> this was the drug of the every man. <laughs> no, no, you're probably right. Probably say one gold. I think probably makes. Yeah, one gold is no. like even later, like five. We'll, 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 we'll say two gold per dose. Okay. Ten doses. We'll... Yeah, cool. Ten doses. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get fucking. I'm glad my panther can run on its own because I'm gonna be let EF <laughs> on the back of this thing. I'm Waving your arms what... around. If you screaming. roll that one on your uh, con save, um, do you do you OD? No, there's there's uh, if you look in your handouts, there is uh, a detailed uh, list of it's what even one paper trunks. does. That's uh, um, it's very good at addicting the poor folks, so it's pretty hard to OD. It's kind of like, I guess, like weed in that case. Yeah. It's like an entry level drug, maybe. <laughs> and well, it's probably more expensive. But... Did we even talk about what this drug does, this entry level drug? Do we know what it does or not? Um, I mean, you, you see Roscoe like asking, like, 
I mean, know, we didn't explicitly go, wow, oh, yeah, uh, that do. dream is which it's, what it does. Like, I'm sure Mask, in man. real life you've been privy to, well, I mean, I'm not going to make assumptions about your life, Alex. I'm, uh, maybe you've seen people uh, buying drugs before, like, uh, what is it? it yeah, it's kind of that situation where it's like, yeah, you you're all in there when Roscoe is negotiating negotiating the buying of drugs, um, and you all know that uh, the Sapphire Syndicate is known for selling drugs. Um, I guess it wouldn't, it wouldn't be that unusual for you guys to have heard of it because it's super popular now, right? Yeah, it's it's, like it's everyone knows what cocaine is and heroin. From reading and so. it, it's it's mushrooms, real LSD, yeah. Kind of, yeah. But you vape it. <laughs> yes, vaping, yeah. Vaping. Vaping. <laughs> it's an escapist. It's an escapist drug. Okay, so it's an hallucinogen. That's fine. Yeah, it's hallucinogen for sure. <coughs> I can't wait till you take it in front of Matthias. <laughs> take it on the road, boy. Okay, so, what's your guys plan now? I should get inspiration by there because it's my flaw, Cap. Head to Caledon's Cross. We've discussed this, Ross. Mentioning that you should get inspiration immediately means you don't get it. In, in fairness, I was aware of that, but it's currently providing you no disadvantage. Just you wait on, I'm just saying I want it before Matthias kills me for it. Or whatever the fuck he's gonna do. <laughs> okay, so, um, what do you guys, what do you guys want to, Are you buying plan? a horse or what? What are we doing? I don't need a horse. Oh yes, buying horses. Uh, I have no. I can't remember how much horses cost. Five e two, Jack. It's all there. Everything you ever need. Me. I'm just looking it up. Of okay, good. Okay. Uh, Seventy five gold piece for a riding horse. There you go. I buy a riding horse. Which um I don't know. Are gnomes gnomes are small. Yep. I think so. so. D can they ride a running horse? Could both go on one, maybe. I was going to ride my painter. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to think for for kill dress. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think they could. I don't know if they can ride medium things or not. Hey, large shot. Jump on one of you guys. Ride side saddle. Yeah. Yeah, we can both do that even. For the so, two hours of riding horses. Matthias, are you gonna allow Kildris to ride with you? Do they have a pony for sale? Sure, why not? If not, why not? I I'm just yeah. maybe slower is the only thing I'm worried about. That's fine. Faster than walking. You know, faster than having a horse. If you're in a panther, is a panther as fast as a horse anyway? Ponies, theory, go pieces, no, the panther's not as fast as a horse. Yeah, so there's no point anyway, isn't Well, it? no, I was thinking we both ride side saddle one. I'll go with uh, Duranel mm -hmm. and Keldris goes Matthias. Nope. Okay. Um... Bear me, I have to get my calculator out. What do you do, Kodris? Want to ride side saddle, bro? I'm just chilling. Want to fire from No, the Matthias, Matthias said he's not going to let his ride side saddle. He said no. Oh, get my horse then. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'm able to ride a horse. Okay, I'll ride with you. Sound good? Do you want to split the cost? Done, done. Yeah, yeah. So what was it? 52 gold and, and 138 silver, is that right? 100, no. 100, total is 181 gold and 433 silver is what we all got. 180. Except for me, I got 82 gold. Shh. 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 Don't tell no one. And what was this? And 433. Yeah, okay. And what did you say the horse was again? 75? 75 gold for a horse, yeah. Uh, Okay, yeah, Durnell gets himself a horse as well. So I pay him 50 gold and 250 silver. Okay. Um, 
Joe and I was happy for uh, for uh, Kildris to ride with him. But there's no there's there's no point in both of us. I mean, it's better for the two halflings this year, Horace, because there's more room than. Well, you've got your pants. Oh, you it's not as panther. it's not as fast as a horse, though. But you can't ride a horse. What are you talking about? Yeah, we can. Full sized horse. Apparently so. I was just googling it. There's no restrictions. People can ride dragons. If there's one thing I've learned not to doubt, it's ability to. Um, so I'm happy with that. Two of us can ride a horse together. So what? what what's seventy five divided by two? Thirty two point two five. Yes. Yeah, no, so thirty two point five rather. Thirty seven point five. Thirty seven point five. Okay. So thirty seven point five. So if each of you go. Damn it, Alex. Kildris, us and Roscoe, you can split that and then ride the same. Woo! Sounds good. Saving money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So uh, after that, you guys just set straight out for the <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. No reason to wait. So, um, as I said, it's probably morning by the point. Far. Um, you could probably make it within a day's ride. So it's gonna be. It's gonna get dark, but before okay. you reach there. What's the game plan once we get there? What are we hoping to achieve? Well, I think we're just passing through, right? We're going straight to... We could look around for a buyer, or we could go straight to our done. Well, we can check in with the um, the Raven's Guild. The Rickery, while we're there. See if they've got any jobs for us. Check the board. Yeah, yeah. So, Carolyn's Cross is a much larger city. It's actually, it's actually a city, right? Um, so, I mean, if you guys want to work there or, you know... Well, it wouldn't take long to have a look, I don't think. No. And we're going to... just stay there for the night and then move on. Is that what you're saying? Stay yeah. there for a night, check the rookery, check the board, then go. Get, get, our, get our thousand platinum. I was just about to ask, like, do you guys want to call it here? Or... I don't yeah. mind. I'm fucking up for going fucking twenty twenty hours. It's fun. Unfortunately, Ross, other people, people other than us, do have lives. So um... <laughs> I like that you changed that life. Other than you, other than us. Oh, I appreciate the brotherhood there. Yeah. So, okay, um, that seems like we'll a good place. So you guys get into Carradine Cross, and then we'll we'll call it there. Well, the night before, with the night where we're resting out in the open, I guess we camp out. Um, I mean, it's or gonna get dark. Now? As I said, it's pretty long days at the minute, so yeah. you can it'll get dark when you're like a couple miles from town. Yeah. So you can probably just like get there. You, you probably would finish. The, oh, the okay. If we're before. not camping, never mind. Then I was going to say they see my panther for the first time, but never mind. It, but... Yeah, it's probably not because you can go 24 miles in a day on foot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, you're right. You know, we can just ride in the, the evening, the light, and yeah, well, get and get a tavern, go to sleep. Yeah, exactly. So we'll, we'll say you've just arrived in the town and then this will get up next session, yeah? Beautiful. Yeah, I'm down for that. Good shit. Cool. Sounds good. Right, swag. So, um, for completing that mission, uh, each of you gain 750 experience. Oh, nice. Experience. Uh, but that's about it. She didn't kill anything else, so. <laughs> and the goal we pilfered. <laughs> If only well, that's just like yeah. one edition. Where you get XP for gold. <laughs> 750. Say 781 experience. Uh, 750. 750. It's a strange number to hear. Yeah, I know. I don't know where I got that from. <laughs> the gold was 81. 1 million 200. <laughs> <coughs> cool. Right. Um. You guys happy with that? Is that is that a good session? Yeah, yeah. Session. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. Mess, Enjoy mess, there, us. Home sweet home. <laughs> yeah. So, um, in terms of time for, um, I I only set the time as for today because I just wanted to set myself a deadline so that I could finish stuff and we could actually yeah. commit to get a session down. Um, yeah, you know, I'm down for another. Is this convenient for people? Is this, is is Sunday morning convenient for people? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Cool for okay, so I'll set the next session for the same again next week, eleven Sunday, eleven. Yeah. If you guys are happy with that. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
That's oh, an hour uh, earlier than today. Yeah. I'm I'm not here next Sunday. Uh, but the Sunday after we can we can play. So That's know. perfectly timed because I'm also not about next weekend. We could do excellent. Sold. Sold to the man in the hat. Uh, what about the other filly? You gonna find out if he's coming or? He should be. He had he had a, a family issue that he had to deal with. Um. Okay. For for this week, but he should be fine for next week. I'll I'll speak to him. If he can't commit, I'll uh, I'll ask. Him to see what he says. We'll fucking bump him. Drop him like he's hot. His character is gonna lose his gold quick. <laughs> yeah. I mean... Murder him and, and rob him of all his gear. Do you know what? I decided you're not helpful. Uh... <laughs> We had a discussion last night, he wakes up in the bed and the three of us are standing around him. And we're just not too sure you're fit for us. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you stream this, right? So you can watch the stream and then... Yeah, he can... Yeah, that's right! Watch it, youtube.com slash... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the channel, if you've missed anything, one viewer is still me. So I will set the next game for the 20th at, uh, at 11am again. Okay. Beautiful. And, uh... Yeah, well, uh, that's not. Do you want any homework for next time? Or no? Um, I mean, I think you guys are fine. Uh, unless there's anything you guys want to do. Um, no, no, I'm cool. So, sick. I want Be to killed by Pigeon Girls Assassins. That's what I was looking forward to doing <laughs> for a night. <laughs> so, it's going to be the 13th. Sunday. The They're really subtle assassins. Yeah, yeah. They, they leave pigeons everywhere around. <laughs> <laughs> Who could have done this? What a subtle assassination. Is it the, is it the pigeon assassins? It could be, but we'll <laughs> never know. Oh my god, god they're the ninjas. In... <laughs> What's that? Right. You, just, you just wake up at night and you just hear the cuckoo. And you're like, <laughs> oh no, what have I done? Not like it's midnight this. and there's just like 16 <laughs> pigeons in your room. Oh <laughs> no. <laughs> They're knocking on the doors, <laughs> on the windows. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for watching, and I went. Let's record them. Bye. And I'm